What's up? It's me, Toast. Not gonna introduce me. No, you can do it yourself. You're a grown adult. Hello, everyone, and <laughs> welcome to the Friday Dev Stream here for Brawlhalla, where we've got a little bit of a special oh, event. Man. I mean, having Toast on the desk is a special Terrifying. event in itself. Horrifying. How many years has it been since you weren't just pushing buttons in the background? I can't even really think about it. Anyways, it's that's not time. what's actually special about today. Uh, it is that we're having the Tesca show match. This right? guy. This guy this right guy. over here that has been terrorizing the rank ladder for... With boots. <laughs> with boots with, for, for about a month with, and a half I don't now. have boots, but with boots. Yeah, I think those are just shoes. Yeah, but using your imagination, they could be boots. Who wears boots? Tesca does. Tesca wears boots That's and true. has been kicking the competition. And so what we're going to have, <laughs> and this is what extra special actually, usually during this time slot, we're like, okay, what do we do? It's 1 p.m. in Eastern time. So we're not going to call upon North America to, to fight in a, an exhibition of whatever's going on. But today, instead of Europe, which usually is conveniently here, we have South America here to feature basically the best Tesca play that we're going to be seeing before yeah. you know, <laughs> any really huge event. So really I, excited about that. I'm excited. And, you know, we should figure out who our players are so we could pull up that bracket yeah yeah it would be nice to know look nice. look at that no longer do we have i mean i really enjoy the whiteboard a, a whiteboard the that whiteboard was really fun <laughs> was i a, really like the whiteboard but, but this is fun too this is easier we to have read. a very human readable <laughs> graphic here with uh six fantastic uh, uh south american players the south america's finest going to be going out here with tesca uh in this bracket fiend and sack and kind on one side and lores vent and kilo and wes on the other and all players are going to be playing tesca with the exception of whoever wants to play shell which instead. They should all be playing shell. Let's be if, real. If, if I we mean, were talking the to right Stick Down, that would be his opinion. I too. mean, if we're talking to literally the internet, that would be their opinion as well. I like Tuska better. Okay. Why are you being a contrarian? Duke <laughs> well, isn't you here. You're being a contrarian. <laughs> it's a... Opinions are opinions. Okay, irregardless, right? Okay, we're, we're going to be getting into this bracket pretty soon. I think we're starting with the top side. So yes. It's going to be Sack and Fiend. And Sack and Fiend. I, this is interesting because I think this is the first time that we've done like a, a Friday uh, show match tournament with a new, like, new, with it's a just new a new weapon. weapon. New, yeah. Oh, with a new weapon for yeah, sure. Yeah, Definitely, yeah. yeah. So so this will be like, I can't even be like, ah, Friday's all EU. It makes so, sense. He'll do well here because Jala, what, no, I can't even do really that. What's really cool about this, right, yeah. as the players kind of lock in and get going here, is that today's the 13th, but this weekend, tomorrow, the 14th, and the 15th is also our community tournament weekend where North America, South America, Europe, and maybe some other regions are having big community tournaments mm -hmm. with Boots legal, with Tesca being legal. So this yeah. is kind of like a precursor of the the destruction that you guys can watch at, uh, you know, SSLBH, Brawl League, or uh, Canadian then, AJ Moore. That's a great call. Yeah, uh, yeah, three three major regions and more and all more. throughout this weekend. 
I think slow motion might be doing something as well. And then I think yeah. NSIG may be doing something as well. Brawlhall.com slash BH community. Check that out for more details. But we're going to go into this game number one here to get the first really crazy best of three between Stack and Fiend here in this Tesca show match here on Brawl Haven. Let's get started. All right. What are you like most excited about seeing here? Side Raza. sig travel from one side of the stage to the other on boots. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty God. good opening there <laughs> with the down sig body <laughs> slamming up towards the bottom of the stage. Neutral sig catching the jumps. Okay, Sack already showing Yo. that you can just dribble your opponent with Fiend, neutral sig okay? on boots. Uh, went for the down sig there, and Fiend just kind of like, please. I was just, I was just trying to find my my boots. Now Wait. he can actually play the game. And look at that down light into neutral air. So there's a lot of really fun callouts oh. with boots. I haven't like this is like the, the this is the first stream of the year that I've been on to talk about about, about the boots. weapon. Yeah, yeah. Please and so, wax poetic about so boots. So there there is um what I love about this weapon is that despite it having uh, active input, which is not a brand new mechanic to Brahalla, it is new to this weapon in the sense that you're essentially deciding how far you want to travel and you want your opponent to travel when you decide to use active input or not. Um, and we're going to be seeing that a lot like in the cases with downlight opener. You can just go for this really low swing that doesn't bring your opponent anywhere, but then you can really decide how you want to follow up with that. I want to see what players do with that and as well. Uh, just all, every single signature that Tuska has is just crazy. Uh, we've already seen that a lot from Sack here. Oh, the clash with the ground pound and nice steering with that. There's just a ton of mobility with the, with the weapon as well, right? Because that gauntlet ground pound, I think, was the first ground pound that came through that you could just steer into oblivion right and now it just has two steerable <laughs> ground pounds uh it's a lot of fun <laughs> as they uh being kicked sack over to the left side of the stage you know i'm a big fiend fan yeah and this is a little little like heartbreaking right now fiend, fiend is doing a little, little bit a little bit here to bring it back, styling but yeah fiend, but fiend is very much the kind of like what do these boots do and then sack's kind of like this is what these boots do and, i mean uh, sack opened with style <laughs> neutral sick at the neutral sick i didn't even consider that you could dribble your opponent on the stage with the neutral sick because of the angle that it sends you to and then just get them with it again which is what sack did immediately fiend gets a stock hits back sack looking for a weapon gets the gauntlets but he's gonna he's gonna oh he tried to go for a wake up there and fiend just keeps kicking him away Side air misses and Fiend. Oh, he's low on jumps. Yeah, that's Ooh, gonna that's, be that's gonna be, be it. it. Oof, weapon throw. To weapon confirm. throw. Wait. Whoa. Like ground and then pounds. you gotta style a little bit more there, right? Sack knowing better than me that that in fact was not it, but finished it off anyways. And we got that game screen there towards the end. Game one goes over the sack and Fiend's banning out. Now we're not gonna. There's a lot of like usual like caster banner that I do about like are they gonna pick this legend? No, and, uh, no, no. There's just gonna be Tusk every single it's time. It's gonna be Tusk. I mean, it could be Shell. It could be. It could be. It could be. But not today. Not not right now. Not right now. But it could be. It could be today. You know, when I made this graphic, yeah, this arm I didn't take into account of, and it, it kind of kills <laughs> me. It's like, <laughs> it, I, mean, I shouldn't have pointed it out. That's all you're going to be able to see now, chat. Just, uh, just has um, muscular arms now. Oh, you, know? uh, you know what we're not seeing? We don't actually have chat up. True. Go get that. I'm going to go fix that. Go do that. I can cover. Here we are on the Western Air Temple. Fiend and Sack on the main stage. There's the side sig that I was talking about. So fun fact about the side sig from Fiend, uh, or just from Tuska in general, on stage with these platforms like this. Oh, I can see chat now. Hello, Enrico. Nice to see you. Here we go. OK, cheering for SAG. So the nice thing about the side sig on boots is that if you do get the dash input on startup there, OK, we can take SAG down. Pretty good. Uh, you could travel from platform to platform, basically. And it's really, really fun and really fast. Hi, Sora. Uh, and we'll see if they're able to use that so far. Because right now, Fiend's only hit on the side of the stage there, and Sack is doing really, really well with these uh, with the boots. Gauntlet's coming up from Fiend. Gravity Cancel misses, so he uses that really strong hit from the side light to kick Fiend away. Ground Pound dodge. Ground Pound counter. Ground Ooh. Pound it again. Just exchanging Ground Pound after Ground Pound, and Fiend comes out on top. And now we have a completely opposite game from uh, game number one. You can feel a little bit better now, Toast. I feel way better now, actually. Now yeah. we can see chat. Now Fiend is... Is bringing it back and is winning this game, and I was able to eat one or two bites of my apple, so I'm, I'm having a really right, good time right now. All right, Irregardless is a real word. I know it's the same. It means the same thing as regardless, but it's. I've been saying that a lot lately. Are you gonna? Are you going Irregardless, to? Irregardless, it means the same thing as regardless. <laughs> Wait, Fiend, what are you doing? Oh! It's, oh, look at Sacco. That's go. beautiful. I'm sorry, I yelled. I shouldn't have yelled. <laughs> it's what you mean. You're casting. Am you absolutely I? should yell. I'm gonna take my shoes off. I think you have the tech here. Okay. Uh, Fiend. Oh, <laughs> I'm 
more comfortable. Just, there's so many things that chat doesn't need to know that you just keep highlighting. <laughs> like they, there's no way they're going to know. Chat know. There's no way they're going to know my shoes are They have to know. Ground pound for feed. Two stocks at. Gets the game at the very end. The colored fish lamenting that the three stock didn't happen. But one you know what? It I mean, was still pretty good. Huh? It was pretty good. And the other game no. was not a three stock either. And so we're coming back right into it. I no. did not see what map they chose. I don't know. Who did. They could just be going back to just Western Air back. Temple. It's a good map. Burb IRL says, thank you for your expert communication. I, Toast, Three, this is why Toast two, is a professional. One, I'm not a professional. <laughs> I haven't been a professional been all my life. Th not so once in my life have I been professional. Everybody could just uh, imagine, right? They can just visualize all the stuff that's not on stream <laughs> so they get like a double experience here. Sort of with the Sloshula is Sloshula. That is true. That is correct. Here we go. Uh, into game number three between these two, in which, well, we've had some really back and forth games so far, and Zach had a really strong start, and then Fiend looked like he woke up. So now we're gonna have ourselves, hopefully, a very even match here as he moves forward into this show Love match it. tournament. Nice job with that side, Sig. Toss him oh. to the left side of the stage, and Zach, oh, goes to the ground pad afterwards from that down light, but doesn't get it to convert, and Fiend falls to that side air. Another Sarah could be a really huge deal here. Interesting fact about uh, Tesca, the side air, has active input. The active input travels, you travel further, mm -hmm. and your, your opponent travels further with you, but gotcha. the stronger hit is to not use it. Why? Because the force is higher. Gotcha. So like if you, you don't you don't travel as far, and you're like, huh, why would I not use active input here? But that's what you want to do if you actually want to knock out your opponent. So oh. um, we'll see if they, they, they use that in the situation. So of course at low damage, it's almost like, Always better to go for the active input there if you really want to just travel your opponent off stage. Right, really so far it's, it's, a, it's a very situational thing, is what you're saying. It's kind of a, a you got to look at your your context and choose the right yes. outcome. Yeah, so we've got a we've got an even game here, I, and, and so gauntlets versus gauntlets is a little bit easier to 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 determine what's going to be happening here. Fiend doesn't typically play the weapon as much as Sack's been doing, but so far they've been going back and forth pretty well at this. And honestly, Toast, this is about like. I was thinking it would just be really even. Woo! Oh man, Sack, that's one advantage Sack has over Fiend right now is that the signatures with Tesca are are flowing very naturally for him. He's yeah. been getting those neutral saves, getting that spike towards the bottom of the stage, and then converting into a knockout more often than not. And Fiend's now only on one stock. I think you said it feels very natural, feels fluid. Um, it's 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 all connected really nicely. Oh, ground pound out of the stage, side air. Can he get it? Can he get him off? Oh no. Okay, down light goes through. Balls in, neutral light, sack. So good wow. with the boots, but the gravity caps with that light doesn't hit. Ground pound whiffs, waiting for the edge guard here. Look at it. He's really, really going for that jump read from the edge. He's like, I'm like oh, but the neutral comes through, and Fiend oh, actually Fiend. gets it himself. Ground pound here could be Fiend. huge. Doesn't even need it. Sack nice. goes down. Okay, first time. One stock versus one. Okay, you say it's one stock versus one. Fiend kind of here in that light orange area. And it's one stock versus what one. What we've seen, though, is that. It, you, you get damaged so quickly, and you get KO'd so quickly if you're able to be fluid with these weapons. Yeah. But Fiend is doing it right now. I mean, it, it's funny because he's, he's hit Sack like maybe 20 times with the boots, and he's only got him like in the light yellow. <laughs> there's like, there's some interesting things where like, because the impulse is so strong in the weapon, there's right. some there's some attacks that do like less damage than unarmed. <laughs> like I remember like seeing a funny tweet where it's like, oh yeah, boots down here does do less damage than unarmed Ooh. there. And there's GG. the recovery. Sack gets the GG off the top with that recovery and Fiend goes down one, two, but really a great set there because uh, we got to see both players destroy each other each other, and then And then it was close, game. it yeah. was a nice good game. Yeah. And I think it really felt like Fiend was maybe gonna bring that back. Um, the bracket's not gonna work by the way because the data's not updating. Um, <laughs> I, I can fix thank that, you. but I'm thank on the you camera. For, thank you for your production. That was not for you, Chad. That was for <laughs> our production <laughs> person in the back room. Um, but we're going to jump right on in to the next game, which was, uh, I think it was Vem Tanquilo and... Oh, it's on the top of my head. I don't remember. I know that the winner goes in the West. Yes, which is a scary proposition. We'll find out in like three seconds. We'll find out, yes. It'll be good. Uh, yeah, for Chad that's asking about balance Loris. in general, um, this is being played... On 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 live servers right now. So how how the balance patches at the moment? But we uh, announced brahal.com slash balance hyphen preview on Tuesday. So you get an idea of uh, what's going to be happening to Tesca and other weapons and stuff coming forward. But right now we get to see Tesca fight each other on release. On release, which is great. Yeah. I mean that's what I want to see. I love 
personally, I love seeing those ridiculous things where you're like, there's no way. There's no way. Oh, look, we have our first challenge. It's Laura's. It's Laura's. Laura's going to okay. win. Laura, it's Laura's is going to win. We get Laura's is going to win. Chat we get confirmed. A, we Chat. get our first challenge. Laura's is going to win. So in case you were living under a rock over this, these past holidays for whatever reason, Chell is... Uh, functionally Tesca when it comes to like how the character operates in the game but uh, it's a really epic alternative skin in the same way that Hugin is to Moonen when uh, when when Moonen was released and so it's up to you whether you think Chell is better than Tesca or Tesca is better than Chell I don't know in this case Laura is representing Chell and uh, Ben Pekilo here on the Tesca going into game number one on Brawlhaven they're getting right into it. Not in a crazy explosive start like we have with the sack. Uh, going in there for that down signature. The down stick's pretty brutal. Like, it's also very strong, but it's just brutal to be hit by, like, visually, because the animation's just so, uh, uh, it's just so good, honestly. I really love a lot of, of the attacks that Tuska has going into this. That Nair really sick. Uh, boots Nair in general, a little bit like the orb neutral air in the sense that you are never going to knock out somebody with it, but you should definitely use it to either call out dodges, call out jumps, and maybe get somebody in an uh, uncomfortable position to get the knockout later on, like we just saw right there. But the uh, game's now evened up two to two. Both players have got boots equipped. Uh, nice job going in with that side light into recovery. Or down line recovery, rather. I gotta get used to all that. Oh, and that's an amazing cider there. We saw right there, didn't use the active input there, just used the strong hit of the no active input on the cider. That's how you're gonna knock out with this weapon. Really, really good job by Laura's, and that's gonna be two to one. Barely uh, any damage going on to Laura's actually in this game number one. Pretty good. Holy cow. Laura's just constantly catching. Every single landing with downlight. This is this is pretty nuts. Hasn't really opted to use the uh, the weak hit of downlight. It's just been popping up in the ciders. So okay, this is like five times that Loris has actually caught the landing. Nair recovery goes in for another Nair to catch the landing. Finally, Ventakilo gets something started, but this has been all Loris so far. Uh, and that neutral stick means that there's no dodge. That could just that could just be the game right there. Welcome back, Toast. Please don't ever be worried about me. I'm always here. I was right there next to you, being very impressed by how quickly you were able to yeah, talk and Yeah, yeah, you were just nodding words, and nodding smiling. Nodding and smiling <laughs> and the game. And we see Laura's with a pretty substantial victory, I would say, over uh, yeah. over Ventankilo. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. I mean, it, it looked a lot like the last set that we just saw before, although it was a little interesting. Like, what Laura's was doing wasn't really, like, boot-specific. It's well, like, uh, well, what was happening... So a yeah, common uh, design thread in Brawlhalla mm -hmm. weapons is that the downlight is this thing that hits low, also combos and catches landings. Right, it's the combo And starter. so all that was happening was, was Laura's was just like at the edge of the stage being like, okay, you're gonna land in front of me, so I'm gonna downlight stare you. And he did that Three, five two, times in a row. Look, if you're falling for that five times in a row, that's on you. I know, I know, exactly. You, I mean, know, you don't like, stop. It was just like, it was like, wow, that's that that happened. And it, it was successful. Uh, Miami Dome coming up uh, second. So uh, another fun thing with the boots here is that not many characters can comfortably and safely reach this platform with their neutral sig. Boots can. I say can with 98% confidence. I have to see it though. I know that the gauntlet neutral sig cannot. But yeah, boots neutral sig reaches pretty darn high. Laura is there towards the bottom of the stage. Vam gets side aired after that side signature. As good as the move is, uh, there's a lot of end lag on that if you miss, and you want to be careful with that. You get you you can get the side sig with uh, with Tesca on gauntlets. You can grab them. You can chug them to the f uh, uh, either in front of you or behind you. Uh, but if you miss that, you're just kind of a sitting duck for a very long time. So you know what I say? I really want to just just call out here, Taza. Yeah. Remember how I said Laura's is gonna win because Laura's playing Shell. Yeah. What's happening right now? Yes, Laura's is winning. All right, that that was a pretty. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> You're just, just trying to get. You, that's true. Maybe that. I mean, we need Ooh. we need one more, Laura. Like no, not the words. We need one more shell set. Yes. For me to be like, okay, I think you've got like shell a good is the chosen one. Yeah. I definitely didn't check my horoscope today, so I don't really know if I can accurately say what. You're the, the last thing. person who I would expect to believe in horoscope. It's about the same. 
It's, I don't. I don't. That was the, I, that was you the just, joke. You just did, and so chat, I want you all to tweet at Taza and, and ask <laughs> no, him about his horoscope, please. please Meanwhile, not. talking about the gameplay here, I mean, they've been pretty close. I love these six, um, just in general, from, from Dusk. So that right there is interesting. That was the active input version of the Sarah. So something uh, I was watching in the earlier game was that Laura's was actually knocking out really early by, by not using that. Um, and we'll see if Vem's able to do that when Laura's is at a little bit more damage. That ground pound goes through. Oh, did he even touch? No, that's just, that's just the stock. Laura's really cleaning up here in game two. We'll see what happens. Laura's going in for that weapon starve successfully. Oh, uh, no, not successful. Yeah, <laughs> you could tell. You can tell if it's not successful because when they backdash, they backflip. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the boots are also more pointy than your feet are. <laughs> what? That's what I was looking I, for. It, it is interesting on this specific uh, boot skin where it was like, oh, those are really thin boots. <laughs> it was kind of, it was, it was difficult to They're tell pointy. for a second. They're pointy very, boots. very pointy. Yo, that down air has what? to hurt. That down air has to do 0.1 more damage because oh. they're pointy. I love that attempt to recovery there with, uh, with the gravity cancel from Laura's. It yeah. was like just pixels off from kind of grabbing that bottom corner of, of the Miami platform. Yeah, boots down are super fun. Uh, I, I can't really say if it's like super fun to get hit by, but it's super fun to hit people with, <laughs> as we saw right there. Laura's now uh, evened up and possibly on the back foot here as we get into the gauntlet uh, mirror match. Laura's finds that silent recovery. Jumps, fast falls down, trying to beat a reaction Ooh. of M. Tequilo. Cider doesn't hit. Okay, huge signature knockout could be would be exactly what he's looking for here uh, for either player, nice. honestly. But, oh, down oh, it comes through, tries to get the splash. There's that splash on the landing. Yep. But the side stick hits, he just throws him straight forward, and that's the benefit of landing that move, right? If you miss it, tons of ending lag. But if you don't, I mean, you're going to knock somebody out in orange. That right. thing's crazy. You're it just, is. It's a whirlwind toss. Insane. It's cool. Yeah, All right, awesome. so all in my words. All right, we're 1-1 one, one again. If you didn't say anything, it would be a 2-0. But I have to call it out. And yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens. It looks like they were going to go into their map pick, and then they backed out. So they're not sure. I'm not sure where we're going to go. Probably just went somewhere that they didn't want yeah. to. We'll but find out a little bit. Look at that. The the map no longer has an arm. It's feel actually like Tesco. It's, yeah, I, well, I feel like Tesco's about to like, grab the back of your, your oh, yeah. back. And, I'm, like, about, I'm about to just get like, out of bounds. You <laughs> like just slam my head into the just, desk. Just spin around and throw you off. You know, yeah, off stage through the wall, honestly, into the office next door. Into the office next door. I mean, at least you have the soft, like signed, BCX banner. I do to stop you, but it's not very thick. I don't think it will help. <laughs> it's not going to stop any impact. That's true. Okay, we got we've got we got stage striking going through. Coming over to small fortress of lions. Wow, it's been a minute since I've been here. Just watching. It's been a. It's like it's interesting because each each stage that I go to when watching this this event, it's kind of like oh yeah, this is the first time I've casted. In any match in 2023 is that, is that weird to feel that way no Chat, it's talk not. about this like when something happens like, like it's like routine in the previous year but now you're here in a new year and you're like well look it's not just that it's ru it's routine and it's new it's that you haven't done it in a month and a half right like the last yeah. time you were on the mic was november 6th is shell legal for tournament yes shell is legal for tournament shell is yes. legal for the tournament that's correct. One going out with the with the yes as well. Here we go. Game three. Who's gonna come out on top here? Is Toast's storyline true or not true? Look, I've never had a true storyline in my life. So, Laura, <laughs> if you, you could really pull through, that would, be, that would be that would be great. You know, left stick down's cursing you from from his abode. <laughs> Just like Toast. Why did why did you have to be on the side of Shell? Look at oh, this, Lorez flying flush. off to the right. This could be the end of this first stock. Sidelight that would waits, do it. recovery. Them to Kilo, so good at Tesca. Laura's down a stock, but for how long, Tom? Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of stock difference where you're like, you either gain a big lead here or it's just kind of inconsequential and you just you just clean up and then you're, you're even on your second stock, right? So like Laura's right here is gonna do some kind of cool signature move or like a recovery or something and it's gonna, it's gonna KO. Ooh, man, throwing the boots up. Didn't get them back again. Down light into recovery. Dodges Last. the gravity cancel deal light and tried to get something off of that recovery. It didn't knock him back enough to where a nair could have came through, but Lores can't get the same read off of the side light that uh, Vem Tanquilo can, but finally that Sarah comes through. And you know, look at that damage differential. It's not very high, so actually, I think we're in a pretty kind of e even spot. I, I, yeah. A little bit of, of momentum still in favor of Vem Tanquilo here, but there, it's even. Ooh. And Lores is now oh, taking the that momentum. Nair was so taking sick. the initiative. Nair into weight, fastball, Nair, sideline recovery, or downlight recovery. I got to remember that, like, it is downlight. It is downlight. Boots always kick forward. Yes. But there are different directions that you have to kick with. 
Here we go. Weapon, Weapon throw. throw. That's going to get the KO right there. Yeah. Now Lore is taking, taking, uh, taking a pretty demonstrable lead here. You know, not in the red yet. Comfortable second Yeah, that, that, that was destruction right there. That was really, really good from Lorez, and uh, the momentum's not stopping. Once Lorez has got the, uh, the, the the string started on the boots, something that Lorez is doing really well that we haven't seen anyone else on stream do so far is that, like, if he gets his opponent airborne, uh, the nares just start stacking up. And okay. once all the jumps are gone, that's when he catches the landing with the down light, gets the recovery, and then just continues that whole string of punishing all over again. Well, Lars is also doing a beautiful job of just maintaining control over the center platform, right? If you've been watching Vemtankula, Vemtankula, except for right here, has been on the outside Ooh. the entire Beautiful gravity cancel. Ground pound right there. Yeah, that's great. Okay, close game. Close game three here. You know, I honestly couldn't tell you where it's going to go, except that Shell's going to win. Okay. We'll see if that's Look, true, because that downer just hit. Yeah, oh, he misses the Gauntlet's, dare. Uh, it's scary, you know? Them, okay, doesn't dodge a weapon throw. Sila comes through. Nair hits as well, but the downer, he didn't jump with it. He's getting dared himself, <laughs> and now Loras is up on the right side. Double Sila means no dodge. Oh, Yo. this is spooky. Loras is just not... Really, has just been Let's hoping go. that Vem won't uh, dodge right away. With There's the, the boots pickup. <laughs> is this the consequential boots pickup that's going to end it? Uses the active input on the side light or the side air. Off on stage, Lores maintaining control here. Oh, it's close to us. Also Look at coming that. out. Dodges There's the punish. Through. Ah. Going in. Recovery not going to hit. Vem's really hoping that Lores will lose his patience. I mean, okay, I can't believe that like that Sarah really like true. dropped and then picked up again. All right, boot v boot, and that'll do it. And Lores. Shell. Shell did win. Did win. It did win. As Lores. far as I'm concerned, that was like a 5-0. I don't, what? What? <laughs> Based <Yeah>. off of what? <laughs> just because just because of the Shell victory? Yeah, just because I wanted it to be. Okay. Well, good job, Lores. Representing Shell. Gets that win. Really close game three. Uh, them Tequila just ended up being put on the right side of the stage a little too much. And goes down. Yeah. Lores moves forward. Exciting. That how was, was the uh, how was the bracket magic? Oh while you yeah, were the bracket away? probably will just never work. Okay, um, but we had that starting point that we, we had that starting point, which is, we could still we, always look at the starting point. I wonder if we can get production to just like take a screenshot and then draw with like like a here's the starting point. You know, it. stuff has happened yeah, yeah, here, yeah. right? SAC won in our first game. Laura's won in our second game. We're probably going to move on to our winner semifinal. I'm assuming, which is probably be kind of versus uh, versus SAC here. Um, down on the bottom line, bottom side, you'd have Fiend versus nobody. There's nobody there just waiting. Yeah, we're just waiting. Just chilling. Yeah. I'm very tempted to go get the whiteboard, to be honest. <laughs> it's right and there. Then we I, re can see it. I spent I can see like an it. hour and a half it. building that bracket last night. That's pretty. Wow. That's and a long I'm, time. I'm, I'm <laughs> only this annoyed. It looks great, but I'm like this annoyed that we won't be able to get it's to use fine. it. It's fine. There's a whiteboard right over there. Chat yeah, can't it's see true. it. I promise you, chat, it's there. But there's also like really. There's really stuff on the whiteboard that it. I can't show you, chat. You could. It's not that big of a deal. It's like behind baseball. You know, it's like <laughs> looking into inner workings of Brahalla production. And that's that's a scary the thing. But next, we are coming in. The next game, game. Kaina, coming up next with Tesca. Really excited to see Kaina play uh, against Sack here on the boots. Sack has so far had the most impressive combo game to me yep. because Sack's been comboing signatures into signatures. And that's like my favorite thing to see, especially because boots are like actually pretty well equipped for that uh, with the neutral sig. And we're going back to Brawl Haven for game number one. It looked like you had a thought that you wanted to share. I honestly don't remember my thought. I was just jamming to the music that, that was ah. playing in my ears here. Oh, okay, all right. Well, here we go. Kaina versus Sack here. Uh, let's see what Kaina's combo game's like with boots. This is going to be interesting. We already know that Sack is really, really good with it. Oh, but that neutral light comes through. Oh, and that's some really great damage. Silent active input, chase dodges out there to chase Sack off to the right side of the stage. And kind of just production. been going off. What's it, what? Thank you. <laughs> no, it was we were getting a double bop there. It was it was it was pretty exciting. Oh. Just like we're gonna see a double bop off, you know, off the top of the stage here. Kinda's doing these awesome nares that I didn't like think about with the weapon so far. Nice job of the down sig. If you if you use that and you steer it off stage, side sig, beautiful finisher. But if you use the down sig with Tesco, steer it off stage, um, you will go down a little bit further than if you landed on the stage. You lose the splash hurt box, but it's still a pretty good edge guard option. No, Kaina's got this play style that I haven't seen any other player do. 
and it, uh, he is doing these little fastball nares, hitting with the very tip of the edge of the nair yep. so that he can hit opponents while they're in front wow. of him. Uh, then he pops them up, and he continues the damage. Sack gets barely hit by the what edge of that recovery. recovery. Chase dodge comes through, and Kaina is just flying around with the boots right now. Side light, oh! That's insane. Nice side stick. Is that two side stick knockouts? No. You just oh, get back to the stage. If it was any closer to the left side, that would have been a knockout. This is going to get the knockout. This is looking like it, it's not going to be a 3-0. Uh, unlikely, I think, but the way Kaina is moving and the, Kaina's whole control with boots is out of this world. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a boot sh showcase there. So I guess they get his first knockout uh, with unarmed. Painful, I mean, honestly. I mean, you, got, you, gotta do, you do what you got to do, right? Do He's like, okay, he kicks neutral lights left and right for a little bit there. Let's see if we can even it back, back up. Uh, Kaina falls down with that down air. Silent recovery, okay. Ka oh, oh, wow, Kaina. I mean, it was all boots so far, but it's like, Kaina, I already know that you're sick with the gauntlets. So, uh, Sack in the meantime is like, I got to make up for what happened in those first two stocks. Love that weapon pickup. And Kaina just, Kaina is just moving around. Just moving around and positioning themselves really good. Recovery Nair. Oh, how's Kaina so good with the Nair? Down sick, no. I don't know. It's, it's hard to hit that down sick without, like, and there it is. That Sarah is just so powerful. Victory called out there by and the they're going right that. on into it, and it's it's frame one coming yep. away, banging out Enigma, no Miami Dome, no Western Air Temple, more Fortress of Lions. Brawlhaven again. Has it's going to be, be Brawlhaven again, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, good. I like Brawlhaven. Yeah, well, I think it's a little volatile, considering That's why that I like, like, it. like Boots, Sarah can literally carry you off in yes. white. And it's fun. Because I, I was like I was like making that point about active input versus no active input, and it just didn't like matter <laughs> that game. Like I just I saw kind of just finish it off with like the 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 active input Sarah, and I was like, oh yeah, that move is really strong. Okay, here we go. Game number two. Will this be a 2-0? Uh, kind of up, really, uh, really convincingly. I mean, kind of still doing it, right? Kind of maintaining control, being patient about you know engaging, choosing the right moment to break through Sack's defense, and just. Just building up that damage. Well, I mean, I mean, look at oh. this. I mean, oh, Sack hasn't been able to get in a word no. edgewise, and that's it. That's, that's so the crazy. first stock. That's incredible. I can't. I can't believe. I don't know. I would have to look at that again, and it's not worth looking at it again right now. But like, uh, Sack went for a sair, hoping that Kinda would jump into that, and Kinda was ready to jump away to avoid that. And I'm not sure if Sack sair towards the stage, if he would have clipped the edge of the stage to get his jumps back. Kinda, she is going crazy with the boots. Some of the potential of the boots is, on top of the steerability, as long as you use your chase dodge effectively, you could get basically double di uh, right. distance off of anything that you do. And Kaina is using that to steer into a position to go for the ground pound, which is then also steerable. And just covering so much area of where Sack's trying to go. Sack trying to get back to the stage. D-Light side light recovery there off of is. the fastball. And Kaina's up 3-1 again. Kaina's crazy. Taza, we oh might God. see this as a 3-0. I mean, this the damage on Kaina's well, not high. 2-0. We got to get in the top Sorry. Three I mean, 3 Three stock. Three oh, stock, like three a two, like, stock. Like, look, it's still happening. Kinda has just maintained control. Sack can't get in. Sack still has unarmed, though. That's how he stopped it last time. Yeah, oh, no. but is unarmed gonna be able to do it if you can't stand on the ground? If all you are doing is jumping, yeah. if you can't recover your jumps, can you do it? You don't want to go for that side sig if you're behind. That is just so Ooh, punishable. Good there. damage. Kinda goes for the recovery, and you can't. You, nice it, toss. It, and there's the boot. Despite the there's distance. There's the boot. Nice job, by Sack. I guess that's talking. Despite the distance that you can travel with any weapon off the top of the stage, you cannot actually knock yourself out off the top of the stage. So it was really intelligent for Kaina to go for that boots recovery there, despite being hit up so high, to avoid what uh, Sack was going for to get back to the stage. But Sack still gets the stock, starts up with the boots, Kaina's got him on the side of the stage, and he goes for a crazy slide charge super down sick that just was not going to be anywhere near. Kind of knows he's got that extra stock of, of extra mobility here, right? So kind of just go in here and style and, and look good. Yeah. Do some cool looking movement. Yeah. Let's see. Nice neutral light. Oh. Zared away. Where's the follow through? Kind of just waited. Kind of didn't. Kind of was just like, I'm going to wait. You're going to come to me and I'm going to go. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, that's a really like, good uh, angle that neutral light sends at. Like, yeah. Down it's into really the left. <laughs> You're not gonna make it back from that. That's uh, a really, really convincing win from Kinda. Kinda the the most Tesca main looking player so far. Um, right. And it looks like our players are immediately launching into. It may have been an accident. The next set. Oh, oh no! Oh wait, we just have the next two yeah, players yeah. ready to go. We, Let's go South America. South America is ready always. This is Lores versus Wes, right? Yes, this okay. should be Lores versus Wes. All right, so I saw people cheering for Wes in chat before. Wes was even on the screen, so. I mean, Wes is, 
you know, is a crowd <laughs> it's favorite. really good. Wes, Wes is, is really, favorite. really good. But this is one of those, that's why I love these exhibitions, right? Because it's like, you could be really, really good at the game, but be really, really good at the game with one legend or one particular set of weapons. Yep. So now we get to see who has been really pushing Boots and Tesca to the limit. And so far, kind of, wow. Like, I it's, mean. it's always this weird thing. When BCX ends in November, and we're waiting for the next competitive tournament to come up, the players who choose to take that time and grind, and those who don't, and especially when there's a new legend or a new weapon or something like that, this is a really cool way to see like who's been crunching, like you're saying, who's been grinding, who's been really digging Three, in, two, and who's been one, taking a well-deserved break, you know? Yeah, yeah, we're, we are, uh, we're finding that out right here today on the Friday Dev Stream. So Lores, the only representative, of Shell here today that we found, and so thus the Love fan Laura. favorite for, for you, Toast. Um, so Laura needs to get this win here to continue pushing Shell forward into top three in this bracket. And look at that. That's an amazing start. Wes barely got started playing the game before losing that stock to a weapon throw. Goes down the left side, and Wes is kind of like, okay, I got to respond back with that. Gravity cancel side stick does not hit, and Laura's with the down light side air. Puts Wes off to the left side of the stage and continues tacking on some more damage as Wes. Well, I mean he's got he's got those. Uh, I, I can't the name's escaping me right now. But you buy the boots with glory. You know what I'm talking about? Gold Skyforge. Forge? Skyforge. 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 He's got those Skyforge boots on right now. But so far, Laura's is looking like the one who actually earned Ooh. them. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. That's uh, that's incredible. Wow. Let's go, Laura's. That, that so far. I mean, hey. Uh, ar arbitrary, like, like alliances aside, <laughs> Loris is pretty sick with Shell. Loris <laughs> is pretty sick with Shell. I, I, and there's a commonality in, in, in these games, especially in this map that, that I'm seeing here, right? It's, it's, it's all about maintaining stage control and stage presence, right? Because if you're coming in off the air into the person you're fighting, right? Mm -hmm. There's so much movement in the kit that allows them to just catch, catch your, your, your landing and punish it and put you back out there. Yeah, Nair, Downlight, Neutral Sig, a lot of it. Uh, and the worst part about all of them is that if they get, if you get caught, you somehow find yourself not only off stage again, but below the stage. Yes. So your recovery trajectory is a lot more painful than other things that would catch you. Like say a Lance Nair, you would just be going back into the sky. And you're like, well, I'll try to land again. Nice job with that side of there. Laura's the, uh, a really big uh, fan of no active input on that. In fact, I think the only Boots player that I've been seeing so far that just constantly goes for that over the active input one, which I really like to see, which makes me go like, okay, Lorez, you, you've really done your homework right. with the Boots because you are getting these knockouts really fast. Really fast. Yeah. I mean, it helps the map has small kind of, uh, like the small K KO zone, right? Yeah. But still. I mean, but, but that logic applies to literally every map. Uh, and that's why it's like cool to see it. Uh, I, I think the only times where it doesn't do that is if you get some really crazy catch where like they're already uh, in the reticle on the, on the right or left side of the stage and you're like, well, I might as well just travel off stage. Although I have actually seen clips of people just staring themselves <laughs> into the blast zone because of it. So you gotta be a little careful with it. Wes, uh, pretty brutalized in that last game. Uh, and this is still best of three. Loros takes this here on Demon Island, and that's gonna be the game. And now we're on Demon yeah. Island here where I'm like, okay, we haven't we haven't played here too much. There are some weapons and some playstyles that I think really benefit from not having a lot of wall. Uh, so far, we've just had an entire grounded game coming out from Loras here. Mm -hmm. But Wes going for a jump there on that neutral signature doesn't quite get it, and Loras uh, still has a huge lead. Damage wise, and that's not gonna get a kill. It's close. Oh. Both the boots, this will get the KO right here from Laura's uh, taking the lead. Oh, I love downlight recovery uh, coming out from the boots there. Really good job with that knockout. Well, one the of the top. things with boots specifically, when we were playtesting it and, and like it was being developed, is that the first time I saw it, I was like, this is going to be so fun to just watch. It and is. It's <laughs> just fun to watch. Boots is a really good. Yeah, Battle boots are so such a fun, fun, such a fun thing to watch. Really fun weapon in the, uh, so many different ways that you can can follow up a lot with a lot of those openers too. And we're seeing oh. that right now as Lorez just barely makes it back. Okay, nice job with that recovery there. Getting him with a low sweep on the down light. Side light pushes Wes off oh. the stage and that cider will catch the recovery and Wes evens things up two to two. Okay, let's see. I'm curious, Wes letting Lorez get the gauntlets here. Sometimes you just have to you know, perform a few backflips. Be like, right. wow, this does actually have a unique back <laughs> dash animation. <laughs> kind of remind yourself every once in a while. There's that side air. Catches him with the oh. side light. Down airs Loras off stage. Waits wow. for every single jump. Sweating into the side light. And the active inputs there. That's when you want to use it, Toast. Because 
how, I mean, he still almost made it back, but like when you know you don't have enough damage to knock out, but you want the distance, the distance. that's how you get it, the, the knockout. And that's probably the coolest example of how to utilize boots that we've seen today. And of course it's coming out from West. I love that. It's it's the type of thing I wish we could take that one moment, slow motion it and kind of like draw on it. Like, Remy, where are you at right now? I need you. <laughs> um, but it, it's really cool that we have that situation. Great pick up from Loras for the KO. One to one, clean stocks. Dead even across the board. Laura is up here 1 0 in the match. 1 0 in the match, and it could be 2 0 in the set. So just getting the win himself. But West brought it back pretty hard on that second stock, but the neutral set coming out from Laura is great. Yeah, it's a, it's a really nice. Uh, it's like a. It, it's like Zol neutral sig plus one in my opinion because like when Zol neutral sigs on Axe, you get to cover this weird dub double jump range. Oh, yep. oh wait. Oh that thought. Ground pound again. Do it a fourth time. Flores will go for the ground pound as well. Boots has got that and got a pretty darn good ground pound. No, goes to the downline on the landing and West lands on the other side. Tries to go for the punch on the side sink okay. and West actually gets a really sick pivot. That Ooh. neutral sig though will get kicked out of the sky and Lores looking for the landings yeah. here. Wes, oh downline side air active input push. You don't come off. back from that. That's going to be it. Yo, and the swing. Yeah. Yeah. The That's swing of the, the celebrate there is Lorez with Shell. I mean, chat was talking about it. So far, it's looking like Tuska's the worst character. It was looking like. I take all of my advice for life from chat. This <laughs> chat's always correct. You hear that, chat? Toast needs more. He needs more life Tell advice. Tell me all of your hot takes, chat. Don't do that. I oh. don't want that. Wes goes down. Wes goes down, and if oh. we had a bracket, we could show you exactly what We do have a bracket. bracket. We, the, we can't show you what's Wait. happening on the bracket, but we do have a bracket. Production. What, what With the bracket thoughts? on the back wall. Okay. We can do this. I'm waiting. We're waiting. Bongwana says toast. All right. Anyways, while we're waiting for that to happen, I love our little Jaguars. I didn't even notice that we had those on the desk still. Bro, it's, it's part of our set. Yeah. We're jumping in. Wes against Fiend. There it is. Look at him. <laughs> why, why did you kill my Jaguar? <laughs> I, I KO'd your Jaguar, you first of all. my Jaguar. I'm sorry. All right, so <laughs> they're, they're starting games, so we got to go quick here, but we're going to do some pointing here in a second. Yeah, after this. Okay, here <laughs> we go. Fiend versus Wes. Uh, on Demon Island opening up, actually. Uh, and it's Gauntlets versus Boots here for the very start. Fiend dipping a little low, but it was actually a bait. Man, West, so, so Fiend versus West is such a, uh, a crazy matchup under normal circumstances, but at this point, it's just kind of like, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see how this plays out. We, we've seen these two fight against each other countless times in bracket and singles, and also be on the same team in doubles, yeah. and it's always been crazy. Even when, like, whether they're on the same team or not, it's uh, it's pretty volatile. And so far, this is the closest opening in this Tesco mirror match that we've had so far. Down air is catching the landings. Fiend can't get the jumps. He can't get the ground. And this West is just not jumping into these signatures. And Fiend, after the fourth try, gets yeeted off the right side of the stage by that side stick. And West takes the lead after dodging multiple and attempts to end that It's star. a pretty strong lead. I want to call it, right, these guys do have a storied history. In, in, in tournament, right? I'm looking at their setup. It's 47 to 44 uh, in favor of Wes, actually. Wow. Um, that's including community tournaments as well. That's like, that, you said story, 47 to 44? Sets, right? If we look at games, we're talking 175 to 160 No, no, that's games. what I was trying to clarify. You're saying that, I can't do math. They've Is that 100 up, sets? <laughs> no, it's 101. 101. No, we're, we're so bad at math, Please. 44 and 47. It's 90, 91. 91 sets. That's a lot of sets. Because that's, I don't know, chat can do math. You know what? It's 91 how about sets. You tell, how about you tell chat where you're <laughs> finding that information? Yeah, you can go to prostats.com and get yeah. all of the stats, pro history, history storytelling. Histories and, and matchup knowledge from Please. like years ago. It's really awesome. Anyways, back to this match. Fiend stares Wes off the side of the stage. Wes sweats back to the stage and has an edge guard scenario here. Fiend fading back with a stare. Amazing stare ability with that cider. That's something to talk about. Every every weapon in the game. Oh, Wes gets another one of those side sticks. And Ooh. knowing that because of the position that he was on stage, wanted to use the active input to toss him behind him. That's two side stick knockouts this game where Fiend just gets thrown into oblivion. But as I was oh. saying, the boot stare has insane steerability. It's honestly so steerable that it feels like you can move faster while staring than when not staring. And I want to talk about that because there are some weapons where you lose that, that aerial mobility because of how powerful the stare is. But since the stare oh, on boots nice is, weapon, is just the way that it is, uh, it's actually really beneficial to like dash, jump, pivot, stare, and then steer, and you can get some crazy distance, catch somebody with one of the kicks, and then just turn it into a whole combo. 
and it's really sick. But Fiend evens things up, and Wes is honestly setting up for his next side sick knockout at this point. I really don't know where this game goes, Taza. I mean, this is this has been so neck and neck the entire time. Ooh. Oh, it could be in Fiend's favor here. Catch the oh, land. Fiend. I think Wes low and jumps. Fiend. He didn't do the active input in the stair there. Nair catches one landing, Sider didn't drift far enough, but Wes is still on the back foot. Nice job dodging the weapon, but doesn't pick up the other one, so Wes just gets right back, kick speed off the side of the stage, the side stick goes low. Another side stick could come through here, but it's not with the gauntlets, doesn't matter. Downlight can come back does the this. active input there to get the neutral light from that. and catches him with the neutral light in midair. Fiend can't no make that back, okay. and Wes just watches him fall down. That last I, there's one thing you said earlier, Taza. It was something yeah. along the lines of like you get so many hits and the damage built up sometimes is is just not that high. Yeah, yeah, that's like a like it's fine. I like it. No, I like it in that game. You know, it would be pretty bad if Boots kicked you five times and you were done for. Okay, so big Boots, please no. No, okay, <laughs> but in that game, what I. I it was like a prime example of that on that last stock, if you were looking at it, right? Because you had the differential in in damage Three, amounts, two, and it yeah. was going back and forth. And right at the end there, it was just dead even after a huge string. I was thinking about damage for engagement, right? And if we have that stat, um, that stat wouldn't actually be that high. But what we need is like a hits per engagement kind of stat, um, specifically for boots, because some of the strings and some of the ways these players are, are going through yeah, and not you, getting how hit. How do you determine what, what that is? Because I'm thinking about, like, downlight hits twice, even though you've only hit them once. Yeah. I get what you're saying, though. Like, unique moves connected per Well, we know, we yeah. do get, I think, information on what the move it is when it happens in a timeline. So smarter people than me could probably figure that out. I feel like this is very high level for our, our viewers right now. But I, I'm we're, enjoying this. We're <laughs> inside <laughs> baseball right now, I'm, behind baseball. Right? I am is enjoying that? this conversation, and I think it is a very good point, because, yes, I think damage for engagement does not do work boots for boots. justice. But I digress. That's the first out stick that we see hit all game. Cracks a skull into the ground, sends him flying off the right side of the stage. West takes the lead here in game two. As we go from Demon Island to Brawlhaven, and West continues just tacking on the damage. Down light, side air, goes to the gravity cancel, right. side light, and Woo! feed with the ground pound. Punishes West for using that dodge very haphazardly and evens the game up two to two. I love that Fiend was like, here's my opening, and then it was just like, ah. And, and just, just basically, just you know. Yeah, yeah. That is that is fiend strength. He's doing it again, there, yep. right too, because he was sweating, got the ground pound into recovery, gravity cancel, down light, gets a bit more damage on the west, but west is the one that gets that landing down light side air uses the strong hit that almost knocked oh. out. That one definitely will, and that was a scenario where if west used active input, he probably would have gone down too. <laughs> he would have just blown just right kept up, going through, right yep. up, probably even just like a little boots airplane. Thank goodness. Oh. A little bit of tense spacing. Feeling each other out. Whoa. Fiend. Taking the initiative here out on the left side. Wes. Picking up some good. I love these gravity there. cancel downlights that both players are doing. It's pretty crazy. Wes dashes forward with that side lit. So much, so much momentum. Falling Nair gets the back hit of the Nair. No matter where you hit with the Nair, it's always going to pop somebody up. So it's a matter of like where you want people to be popped up when you're going for that fast fall Nair uh, as an opening. But the side stick just kicks Wes off the left side of the stage. He doesn't go down, though. He needed again. that. That neutral stick dodges out of the way. The gravity gets a down light avoided. And Wes is just dominating here in game number two. Wes is so intentional in where he is standing and, and how he's choosing to engage. You'll see him walk away from Fiend, mm -hmm. right? And he's just waiting for Fiend to put out an attack to make that first engagement, and Wes is saying, hi, I got you. And then victory. Victory right there. Pretty right solid. There. Yeah. Wes, really incredible with that. And kind of gave Fiend a uh, taste of his own medicine there in game number two, where like it was like, here are five to six signatures that are just whiffing, and then I <laughs> hit one good string, and you go down. And you go down. Yeah. That was, that was really impressive. I think that was the 2-0. I'm having this very that rare was a, moment. That was a 2-0. West okay. took game one. Because I was like... Which right. means if we're, we're adding that into our... It's now we're 48 not we're not to 44. We yes, are, please. We are not adding that in the Pro Tool. I mean, we, <laughs> we are not going to add it to the Pro Tool, but we could. We could. Okay, so it's not updated because it's broken. Now I'm thinking about how this bracket works, and I feel like there was only supposed to be one elimination quarterfinal match in you, hindsight. You know, realistically, <laughs> I could have just made a bad bracket. It's possible. But I don't think so. It's fine. I mean, I understand how this works. This is correct, correct, right? So you yeah. can see 
Uh, so Sack, uh, oh, Kaina took down Sack so pretty much. Kaina's waiting winner final. And Lorez beat West, so they're going to be sitting there in the winners. Yep. And then Venton Kilo and Fiend, Fiend are going to be going. No, wait. This is too complicated. Three, Take it away. Let's go to the game. One, It'll be okay. I'm, I'm, the match will be on. I'm bracket dumb. We'll watch it. It'll yeah, we'll watch it. That's all we got to do. There's a reason why we like brackets that. that there. There's a reason why okay. we don't like brackets. There's a reason why we don't like brackets, <laughs> period. Here we go. Sack versus Vemton Kilo. Sack just took a pretty pretty nasty loss over to Kaina. But before Kaina, Sack's uh, Tesco was my favorite so far. Uh, let's see if Vemton Kilo can show me otherwise here in this set. And so this is elimination mm -hmm. quarterfinals, right? So whoever loses this set is out of the tournament. They are not the best Tesca. That is the person who is in grand finals at the end of the day but they're pretty good Tescas. Yeah, I mean, everything that we've been seeing so far today has been pretty fantastic. It's a matter of like, uh, for, for me, mm -hmm. as like a fan of viewer, it's like, okay, what part of the boots kit have you decided to make uh, an integral part of your, your your play this early into the boots meta? And that's what I've been watching for every single player. Sack has been the most signature heavy. How's uh, it? You, Loras has been the most like side air, strong hit heavy. Like Sack just loves letting the, the active input rip. And then Wes has been the most like, okay, I'm just gonna like really hardcore take down your stock and orange nice. buddy uh, with the side stick. But that was a great finisher there from you know, What really kills me, Taz, is that you're talking about these things and I just wanna make references to Blue Lock, but I know you don't watch I, anime I, and I, you won't get I them. I don't watch. But people. I know everyone out there what is, I have is about to get <laughs> the, uh, the reference. The production gets the references. I, I have no idea. I just, you're talking is. about, you know, what they're choosing as their weapon to specialize in. They're using their feet. Yeah, they have to turn a zero into a one. I mean, there's so many references here that I'm not making for your sake. <laughs> you just watch whatever this is, I guess. But <laughs> it's good. You'd probably hate it. Chat, is it good? It's very good. I'll wait for y'all to respond. Required viewing for all competitors. Well, we'll put that in the 2023 rule set. <laughs> just a list of, list of things that you need to know so that you can understand the reference. 2 1 on the score line. Sack here. I want to say in the lead, but I feel like Vim Tequilo has been doing a really nice job building back up the damage and kind of taking back control of, of the game right now. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sack gets the neutral. I love that pivot. Neutral sig. He's so good. How does he catch the neutral sig when it looks like he doesn't catch grounded, but it looks like he's catching grounded because he's catching people right as they jump out of a neutral situation. Uh, and it's really sick. That that one wasn't so much. <laughs> it, that, that, that was deserved. But uh, he had a stock to play with. So Vemton Kilo there taking that stock there, and Sack could well do a number of things here. And so still, still get the knockout. Here's the scary thing, right? Is like, at this point, anything is going to knock out Vemton Kilo right there, right? And what I was going to say is to bring that back, you have to play an almost flawless game to get an almost flawless victory, which we didn't see. So pretty tough. Up 1 0, favor of Sack right now. Mm. As they go back in, you know, choosing to, to lock back in Tesca and Tesca. Um, interesting choice. You know, they only have two options, and they chose the. Uh, it's really only one option. It's two options. I mean, it is two options, I guess. I've achieved my uh, no my, my two, energy limit for the day. My watch just vibrated. As we come into <laughs> game number two. Energy limit? Yeah, I know. It has a little what flame, and it says what is it's it? very low. It, it triggers around this time every day. Ooh. I think just existing, it like it does wait, 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 uh, We'll talk about <laughs> it later. <laughs> I mean, really, Sack is about to annihilate that you're doing Vemtikilo. too much or too little. What does that mean? I'm doing It's a very low target. Um, <laughs> It makes me feel good every time it vibrates. <laughs> I have to you're, update it. Think you're alive? Yo, whoa, 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 whoa! He came back. Here we go. He came back. He did come back. He came back. Down air comes through. If you use the down air pretty low to the ground, you actually bounce off the ground, which is pretty cool. Oh I haven't seen anybody like use that in a way that, that that has been super interesting to me yet. But that slider goes through. Uh, Sack takes that stock. Brings it three two. Here we go. Uh, we've got Sack on the other side of the stage. Bam, Tinkilo. Gauntlet starts off the side light. Uh, and Sack just continues taking out more damage. That Nair catches the recovery as them try to escape. Did avoid the neutral light there. Sack went for a really hard read, thinking that uh, Vem was going to dodge through. Nice, nice. Uh, and Vem just destroys him for it. Really well done. Double ground pound there. Takes the, uh, takes the stock. Even stock, barely even game. Both of the boots enabled. Look for the back flips. Look for the pointy toes. They are quite pointy. Not as pointy as that one skin. I don't know. That one. The shell skin? Was that the shell? Yeah, the shell boots. The shell it's boots. the pointy ones. They're yeah. very pointy, yeah. yeah. 
I love this though. Sack rewind 20 seconds and the two of them were fighting for control over the center. Sack gains it and this is what happened. Sack Ooh. kept Vemtinkilo in the air, right? Very good recovery. And and that's 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 it. Sack just had the initiative the entire time. Yeah, Sack has has been a pretty well rounded boots player, uh, with the exception of Kaina, who just like made me think that for a second he wasn't. <laughs> and then I was just like, like oh, Kaina's just really, really good. Um, oh nice neutral light there. Goes back forward, just a pivot. This is a dash forward pivot down light. Neutral light connects. Side light kicks up. Gravity cancel down light. Oh. Nair. Sack's so good that Nair's coming through and Vem. Bandages to get back to the ground, falls to that side air, but the Nair from Sack just keep him juggling in the air. Great grounded game there, and I mean, Sack was going to take that, that combo to oblivion. Nice ground pound comes through and stops it, but so much damage there. Brings Vemton Kilo into deep, deep, oh, I can say orange. It's red now. It's red. Uh, Gauntlet's picked up. Let's Sack. see. I, I haven't seen Sack. Okay, down Sig would be amazing Sack's here. Just can waving. you hear me, Sack? Goes in, gets punished. Nice, pop dodge. Down sig would be so sick. You can do it. He's on the side of the stage. Oh, going for recovery. Nice. Step. That's not going to KO. Ventricule will burn the dodge already, though. Should be back at this point. I could see Sack going for a neutral stick here, but oh, whoa, Sider. Who's with the second Sider? Going for the Sack. cleanest Did play. Get ground pounded there. Oh, he has. Okay, I thought he was low on jumps, touch. but they've just actually been maneuvering in the air with the mobility of the boot. Side air does there an active is. input, gets a strong hit, celebrates the neutral stick. That's game. Sack That's takes down Ventricule 2 0. We'll move on on the elimination side of the bracket. Almost really clutch, though, from them. That was like, it, it's it one of those things where it's going to take a few more months before players are like, okay, I know that if I catch you with no dodge with Boot Sarah uh, active input, mm -hmm. you can like lose the stock as hard as you would to cannon hitting you with, with that, right? Like, we've all seen the cannon highlights of like, oh, no dodge. You just stare <laughs> there all the way to the other side and then you're just gone. Yeah, I think Boots have that potential, but just not quite as easy to to lock down. Well, but we'll have to see. I, I think too, with this, one of the things I'm really excited to see in, in, in this coming year is yeah. just what we've been seeing today and a lot more of that, that off stage play, that in air state, like the gameplay. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like that's always for me, the hypest moment is when the players seem to spend more time off stage than they do on stage and they're playing in a way where it feels like they're flying and they have infinite jumps and they don't have infinite jumps they're just i mean you, in theory you could if you were able to hit each other enough with like weird light hit nares and yeah. chase dodge all the time you could flip for quite a long time <laughs> i mean that would right like it would be really fun that'd be really really fun because usually but 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 like in a competitive way and yes. not like in a Globetrotters way, <laughs> which which is kind of like amusing to me to think about. I guess it's like what what really crazy team combo videos are like is like right. the setups. But anyways, coming back into to this game, we got Kaina. This is winners final. This yes. is the best of five. First best of five, yeah, because top three. I believe this is winners final. I mean, yes, yes, top three. Yeah. Winners finals, okay. loser uh, elimination finals, and grand finals. So we've got the best shell and the best Tesca going head to head right now from this bracket so far. Uh, Kaina. Really handily destroyed uh, Sack and Laura's the same way uh, in, in both of their matches here. And they're going to be going up head to head for game number one of this best of five. Yeah, I got to shout out Kaina's drip. Definitely like Pretty good. powering Kaina's victory here. Glowing knees. Glowing knees. I don't think any move from the boots is actually just like a knee to the face. But if well, you it get worked, like a like a heel to the face. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah th 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 it's also glowing as well. Yeah, Kaina, Kaina's looking pretty good here on the Tesco. Laura's, however. Uh, also playing pretty well, but kind of with the lead. Side air puts him off stage, goes Ooh, up that slide, goes neutral it. signature. Nice snare, catching the landings. No, okay, gravity. <laughs> gravity cancel psychic there. Right. Just be like, hold on, give me a second. Yep, connection. Yep. Maybe just sh a little shifty right now. And Laura is very much being like, I'll wait for you to start. Yeah, we're, having a we're having a good time. Oh. Throwing out some fireworks. What's that you know, other one? I just one? realized that, like, when, when doing that, she takes going. off her boots. Yeah. To get, or maybe the fireworks are the boots. All right, there's a high five. We're okay, back we in. Go. That's the signification. Hey, we're good. We're good. Let's do it. Let's kick it out. Opening up there. That side sig gets kicked. Neutralite, side light. Oh, so much damage coming out from Kaina. Goes all the way down to the diagonal chase dodge after the active nice. input Sare. Waiting for Lord to come back. Clash. Clashes with the dare. Kind of just maintaining control here. Going for a read above. Get it. Ooh, nice. That'll KO. Uh, get some extra distance on there. Primes uh, the gauntlets, I believe, and gets the fresh boots. It kind of comes back to the stage. Flores is a, a solid hit away from going down to one stock. 
A neutral light while a solid hit, hit is off, not off is not a it. not a knockout hit. I guess I should have said like a signature heavy attack. Well, I love Loris is able to get in and just move so quickly to kind of start building damage up on Kaina. Like Kaina hasn't been able to get one hit here in the last ten seconds, fifteen seconds. Yeah. Oh, oh, under the weapon toss as well. If that weapon toss had hit, I, I don't, don't think it would have KO'd. Uh, yeah. It yeah. was it was too slow. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely. Well, you say that, but I don't actually fully understand the 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 magic of weapon throws. <laughs> so sometimes like the they could be like slowly moving, and then you just like go flying. Yeah, that's true. I guess. I think airtime matters. Airtime matters I, a lot. The I, longer I, in the air, the more stuff. Yeah. Uh, anyways, Lorez is pretty dark behind. Oh! Okay, the weapon toss did hit that time, and Lorez no goes for the stair to refresh jumps on the edge of the stage. Misses the stage nope. and thus just falls down to a two stock there. A really solid game one coming out from Kaina. And so now we are one oh for Kaina. Yeah, one oh for Kaina and Kaina is like really good. Like it's like the <laughs> best looking like like everybody I've seen so far, Kaina's just kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna win with this weapon where everyone was like doing some really interesting things and Kaina's just like I've got fundies. <laughs> it's it's like, okay, all right, I get it, Kaina. Uh, Lorez has time to adapt, though. We did see uh, situations where Lorez started off really far behind, brought it back. We're going back to Demon Island here, and I have confidence in Lorez's play because of the ideas that I've seen Lorez put into uh, Kinda action. Kind of just really good. Lord. Okay, Lorez bringing it back. Which server is this? This is South America. Lorez? For the uh, Tusk Exhibi Exhibition. Kind of choosing here to kind of just hold. Yeah. Yeah, you know, waiting for that to get back to the stage. Catch that that jump too with the side air. Hasn't tried to catch any jumps with neutral sig uh, on either weapons. Nice Laura's nice. Gravity cancel. cancel neutral light. Wow. Goes for the ground pound and kind of dodges up and slowly goes back to the stage before fading through, avoiding that ground pound. Really nicely done. Gets the side air there. Lorez trying to get that pivot ground pound possibly, but kind of just rides at the side of the stage with the recovery. Nice job with the nares. That recovery doesn't hit, and both players look for that first knockout side Woo! sig. Kicks Laura's in the face, sends him flying to the left side of the stage, takes the first stock, but much closer than before. There's something really satisfying about that signature where it it has travel time, you know? It's got travel time and it's got the oomph. It right? has you the get, oomph you get, the you get that time. like that of that audio, the the, the roar. Yeah. It's when, really, it, when it connects. Really satisfying. Oh. Okay, Laura's. Two kind. side six, three side six. Oh no, that's a little too many. Too many to whiff to, uh, oh, okay, that no, time it will connect. Yeah, that one, though, is all you need. You need one. Yeah, but in that journey to find one, we went from yellow damage to deep orange. It was, uh, it was worth uh, it. It was worth it. It was yeah. worth it. I mean, it could be worth it here. That side air kicking kind of off the left side of the stage. No, kind of makes it back, gets a weapon. Lores gets that nice, uh, nice landing side air. Nothing more off of it, though. And kind of with the side lights begins his hunt to get the recovery off the top of the stage. Okay, that down stick was a. Uh, Laura's saying, no, though, these boots are going to stop you from KOing me. Moving back, maintaining this left side page, but there, there's, the, there's the recovery game. Yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah. rough. One stock left. Laura's could be on the on the back foot of the best of five. Could be a 3 0 in kind of favor. Okay, oh, neutral sig gets the dunk. Weapon throw gets the stuff recovery. And what was I saying? Laura's brings it back immediately. Immediately. I mean, this is fresh stocks for both of them now. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was fantastic, and a great example of how to use that neutral sig. Uh, and Tesca, with both boots and gauntlets, gets that like opportunity in both cases, where if you catch your opponent panicking with a jump or recovery, you just toss your weapon down right after you get the dunk, and that could be the stock on its own, and no matter the damage. Uh, Lorez now really running forward with the momentum. The neutral sig expected to jump, but kinda didn't wake up, and instead gets the punish side line nice of the boots. Toss. Goes for the down sig. That would have been a huge spike. Boopy boot. Lorez with maintaining position here. Oh, kicks him. Kind of in the air. Kind of can uh, maintain a control now. Kind of, I think, wanted to dash forward neutral light, but went too far. Side light gets this. Oh, uses the active input and goes Gee. forward. Lorez, after that crazy comeback on the second stock, never gave up control. Brings it to a game three, one to one. Okay, that's. I'm excited about that too. Yeah, because Lorez was doing a lot of awesome stuff with boots. And kind of, I just really felt like was just fundamentally playing really well. Right. So I'm glad that Lorez, with that with that showcase has like made this a really even set. That's that's really exciting. Yeah. Wow. This is rad. This is really fun. I'm glad we do these now. But I gotta say, Laura's needs to win for the, for the <laughs> shell. Oh, stance. for the shell storyline. Yeah. yeah. The, the only shell representative here in yeah. South America. I'm glad we have one. Yeah.
We have one, and he's been he's been making it work throughout the rest of the uh, the, the entirety of the set. Game three is up here. Same uh, map. Stefan underscore seven says rip 15k. It's not over yet, Stefan. It's a best of five. Could get your points or lose them. I don't know That's who. Uh, I don't know what the one is betting on. Chat is one. Is blue for Laura's or for Kaina? Let me know. Toast needs to know. I do not need to know. He don't, he needs to know so that he can like be happy when somebody who voted for Laura's to win. Look, says something. If one is Kaina. One Thank is Kaina. So. I'm seeing too many blue circles. In There's chat. a lot of Kainas. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, yeah. That, we don't know what the percentage split is, but uh, yeah. Here we go. I mean, if you're looking at the damage here, Kaina's got it. That weapon throw was spot on. Very accurate. Laura's can't come back from that. This is a pretty strong one slot lead for Kaina. I mean, the damage kind of is not what that high. Game two, though. Exactly what That's true, game but game two was defined by that stock reset, uh, putting them on their final stock clean. Right? Ooh, That's 91%? when it turned around. percent Why would you put your points in a ninety-one percent? You're not even gonna get anything. <laughs> you can put you can put a thousand points and you get like ninety points for winning that bet. Awesome. It's one one. <laughs> Well, we opened the bet up and we closed the bet before yeah, they start playing. So I'm just surprised that it. people were like, it's kind of for sure. Not <laughs> everyone's as chaotic as you, okay? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I bet 56 on Kaina. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I mean, I mean so far it, it's looking good. It's looking pretty goes good. down pretty hard there. And Kaina's like, after that game two, I never wanted to be that close again. Here we go. I mean, kind of really is just running circles right now, or in Loris. Oh, I mean, oh, literally right bear. here, upside, upside. Oh, that would have been so he good. He almost nice we, turnaround. We were literally just talking about how if you catch somebody Ooh. early with the Sare, what you could do to get those stocks. Kind of what sends him off stage, then carries him back onto stage just to continue combo. Okay, Loris gets the, ground the reversal pad. ground pound, but that was uh, <laughs> that was because kind of was styling. It was styling half. pretty that hard. Was, holy cow. But like, Kaina has the stock advantage Ooh. to style. I mean, oh, is, I'm is surprised he didn't like active and put Sarah there. He did the. Uh, That's it. He did the regular Two, hit one. there. One more game could could call it here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think they're gonna keep running it back to Demon Island at this point if Loras gives Kaina that option. Very likely, it's still open. We've got Apocalypse and uh, Small Barrel Haven here as well as options. Nah, Demon Island. Because they're demons on the boots. They're demons. That, that, is, that is exactly why. That, that's um, why. Wow, that was really one-sided in that last game. Okay, kinda. I let, let, let's see what happens here in game number four. I want a game five. Three, I want two, I want everybody one, that bet roll. for kinda to be sweating. All right, because Laura. Yeah, has, that's true. I want them to lose all of their points. That's what you want. You want them. You want to lose the points. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> just tell them the truth. I just w chat deserves uh, the truth. Oh my goodness! I just want a little bit. Uh, I think chat just knew the truth. I mean, I that's true. That I mean, kind of. That just, was literally a zero to death. <laughs> yeah, Laura's like trying to skip to the other side of the stage. Man, if you're really good on gauntlets, you're gonna be really good on boots. This is the, 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 the way that the weapons punish off stage with edge guards is, is essentially identical. It's very simple. And in fact, I think what makes boots pretty terrifying is that unlike gauntlets, they actually have a confirmed knockout combo, which is delayed recovery, which is just the stand. Like, they're, they're basically weapons that have it and weapons that don't. Right. And boots just have it. You don't even have to do something wacky like blasters where you have to dash jump to get it, right? You just you just get it. <laughs> so boot, boots like, like, kind of shore up that one weakness that gauntlets have. Laura's uh, side lights, or down light, rather, gets the side area afterwards. Oh, kinda, nice catch Kinda's on out here. That's 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 a stock. Kinda does not have the movement necessary to come back. Kinda, no. kinda had never got the wall touch, and just kept getting volleyed back out and out and out and out. And that's only gonna give you so much momentum, even yeah, with the Yeah, Laura's still back. almost still went out there though, and that's that's what you have to consider when you're like, that's gonna be it. It's like, yeah, but will do. Will his opponent let him hit him? You always have to wait because <laughs> because Laura's literally had to run under the stage because he miscalculated so hard. Right. <laughs> Uh, it is one stock left for Loras here. Loras goes down. It's going to be a 3-1 victory for Kaina. Loras goes down to the elimination bracket if that's going to be the case. But with the down lights and neutral stakes, good chance Ooh. he can be... Okay, whoa. Well, Loras trying to come back on two stage, kind of just waiting it out. Weapon spawn. Let me see what I'm tossing is. Nice. Oh, that down would have been huge. Down has active input on it too. You can get that spike straight down or send them flying behind you with the connection once you grab with your legs. Kind of oh. moving in. Falling back. It's kind of close. Last time we saw the situation, kind of went down to a spike. 
That's true, and kind of off the edge here. All it would take is a spike to get a KO here. The weapon vanishes right nice as kind of goes for the weapon swap. I love able that. To get his I back, love though. these back swings on the nares. Gets the very edge of the attack. Jumps past them. Hits with the back hit of the attack. Downlight recovery. Right. That's the stock. Off the gravity cancel too, and it's evened up one to one. Whoo! We could see a game five. I, I want to see a game five. We could do it desperately. It could happen. Kind of though. Nice. Dead even on damage count. Good side light. Grab power the there. Initiative. Recovery. Lorez really insane on the boots. Kind of struggling to do anything here in this game number four. Falls to that side air. Down light. Side air. Kicks him off the side of the stage. Lorez waits for the jump. Grab pound hits. Kind of got nothing. We that's have a the game, game five. He went two stocks without getting hit toast. Lorez brings it to a game number five. And that 9%. Have a chance. I mean, my goodness. I mean, my goodness, that 9% do have a chance. Game wow. five in grand finals. And I so, well, winners. It's winners finals. Winners finals. Sorry. This probably will be grand finals. That's what I was going to say. I was leading to, like, we're going to see the but run back rude. in grand. That it, it gets rid of the, the excitement building up to the possibilities if you just decide this is going to be grands this yeah, early. That's why I'm not normally on the mic <laughs> because I'm bad. <laughs> Unlike these players who are good. <laughs> we got game five coming up. Shell fans, be high, ha, be excited about this. This is this is fantastic. Loras has brought this to a game five here against Kaina, and Kaina is very much the fan favorite to win this. I mean, like, factually, the fan favorite. Factually a fan favorite, 91%. <laughs> I've seen one two in the chat. Yes. <laughs> one Loras fan. They're going to make many channel points. And I would really like to see this, because I think that... Um, Loras has been the stylistically my favorite uh, Tesca main to watch. Of course, I, agree. I say shell, but like you get what I'm saying. Here we go, game number five. Loras on the boots uses the downer to get the jumps back, avoids the down, like kicks his way back onto stage and kind of gets some damage back in his favor. But this is the first game that Loras has opened up with a lead. <gasps> Oh my goodness, that one person that bet 36k points on Loras is going to make so many points. <laughs> Toast, they're going to make so I, You need to post how many points you make in this, after this game. <laughs> because Loras is going crazy. Look at that neutral light on the side thing. Oh no. Oh, kind of, kind of, kind of believers are sweating right now. <laughs> oh man, Loras with the swap over to the fresh boots. Kind of like, what am I going to do? I'm kind of fully unarmed here. Going to get that weapon pick up into the boots right away, pushing Loras over to their left side. Oh, oh, oh. There's coming through. Loras gets Loris the neutral light. Maintaining control here beautifully. Oh, the downer, the that hits. Hit, the grab pound that hits. hits. <gasps> he goes for the downer. It's kind of sweating. Barely makes it back. Into I can't believe that. The, the edge. That had to be like two damage, by the way, from Yo. the boot stare. Yeah, but it hit, and that's it all hit, that matters. And it, it, you get the distance. It's, that's it's about insane. the distance. Oh, man. Kind of. Nice the movement from Loras to get back up there. Kind of picking up. Okay, Kaina could equalize it right now and make this like a lot, lot closer. But Loras gets the side light, disarms a grab pound recovery, switches over to the boots, goes for the down light, gets the side light, oh, D light side air. Oh, Loras up three stocks to one. What an awesome combo. Loras is so sick on the boots. Holy cow. Loras okay. downloaded Kaina. That's, I can't believe it. it. Oh, goes for the neutral light there for the landing. Side light goes Ooh. to the dare. Kind of dips down low, gets the boots himself with the dare to recover. Loris it. pushing upward. <laughs> oh, it's Loris. Get gets him to the side air. It lives because it kind of, that's, that's getting punished for active input. That's yep. actually just getting punished for that. And Loras has his stock and some change to play with any hit that comes out from here. Okay, yes. could have been a lot worse. Kind of does clean it up afterwards, but that's why you don't hold in on your Sairs if you're trying to get the knockout there. Loras lived to fight another day. Laura's hanging out. Oh my! Oh, first down six. Goodness. Send him back to the stage. Down light, trying to or uh, trying to catch that landing on the ground. Goes back on the stage with the Saren Kaino. All right, fighting back, realizing the pressure here in this game number five. Exclamation points coming through. Laura's can't make it back to the stage. Kaino now with the center center stage control. Laura's kicks him off. Nice snare. Oh, but doesn't get the landing. Kaino trying to push it back. Take control. Gets the second boot pickup. Loris here, though, center stage, pulling back, looking for the engagement. Does get it here, pushes kind of out to the left side. Kind of. This is it. This is it. Out, baiting Recovery it out. Hits. No, that's, that's Loa a survival. Jump, Loa jumps. Kind of gets the, the ground touch. Like just waiting Loris. for the side stick off One the One more hit off here. the left side will do it. Spike him. Go for the neutral stick, Loris. You can do it. Oh, side light recovery or downline recovery, and that's going to be it to two stock. Loris wins game five.
three to two. Shell believers eat tonight. Laura's is so good. That Laura's is so good. Laura's has really put in the work on the boots so far. This is really fun. exciting to that see. That was really, really and, exciting. And, and it came out on top at the end. I mean, oh, best of fives are so necessary. Yes. <laughs> so, I agree with you. They're, they're so good. I mean, wait, like for the sake of today, like I'm treating this because I just love competing in tournaments in general. And mm -hmm. Obviously, I like treating this like it's like super real and whatever and it's just it is super real it they're is competing yeah i know but it's like an exhibition match on a friday and we, we do best of threes because we only have two hours yes <laughs> but but, but, like, but i'm just saying best of fives are really really good oh uh, wow yeah Flores. that was insane i mean that really was if that was a best of three Laura's had lost yeah right because yep. yep. it was it was a 2-0 and yes. so so Laura's came back three games in a row. Yeah, yeah, Laura's is incredible. That, that and, was and, 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 and in two of the games that uh, Laura's came back in, he literally came back with like a spike with nothing. It from was like white to red, and yeah. like came back. Yeah, it was it was pretty nuts. We're gonna see more of that in a little bit because the bracket's not over. That was in winners. Uh, that was in winners finals, and now we're yep. going into the elimination bracket. Where yes. We've got Zach versus Wes. Uh, Wes here in this best of three, two, one. This is four. semis, so it's best of three. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Who's the casters? Hi, I'm Taza. That's Toast. Hi, he's I'm Taza. No, you're not Taza. I'm he's Taza. usually doing production. Today, Hi, I'm Taza. He's on the desk. Wong Wait, has got it. That was that was a, a zero to death that we just... Every time it there's a zero to death, we're doing a bit. We're doing something, yeah. Now, to continue the bit, is it is Toast left? Or is, is, is are you stage left or are you stage right? As I, viewers see me, I'm on the left. Yeah, yeah, but like... What are you actually? Audience doing? left. Audience left, stage right. Yeah. Okay. Now we know. We, we already know. Sora says, hey, Tez, we can't see you. Match is on. Thank you. Sora. <laughs> Speaking of the match, oh, ground powder. We just. Hey, it was Zach's fault for going for a down stick underneath Brawl Haven. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Commentate Look, that? Wes is just trying to speed around. Like, Wes was watching AGDQ and got inspired, right? Wes is really just trying to speed around. Sandwich says, I see two Tazes on my screen. We'll bug fix that in 703. Okay. Shh. Sorry about that. Is it really a bug? <laughs> we, don't need, we don't need duplicate dupli <laughs> duplicate casters on, Wes, on Wes, oh. please. That did not get the... Oh, oh let's go, Zach. The turnaround. I mean... I love not only that Zach was able to confirm that KO, but was able to confirm that KO off bounds, get the KO, and then recover back to the stage. Yeah, boots are great. Oh, side take almost... I mean, I almost knocked out it. That's okay, it. that slider will do it. West takes game number one really fast. Uh, super fast. Fast enough in time to see that there That's aren't, toast. there's not too. I'm Taza. Just rolls are been reversed now. Uh, Wes, this is good because uh, West didn't really have like the super flashes showing for his first time on stream with mm -hmm. Tesca. And now he's going to have that ch having that chance over Sack, who I thought was doing really well until Lorez showed him up. Right. Um, so we're going into this game too. Three. And we'll see what's going to happen. Same map, same loadout. We're at game two. This is a best of three, so West just needs to win this game, and it's over. West had a very strong early lead in that last game, lost the stock, and then was able to bring it back very, very confidently. So what's going to happen here? I don't know. I don't know either. And it's because I didn't I didn't really watch. No, we were doing a bit. Side to gets, though. <laughs> Wes, the only the only Tesca that hits side sick. I can I think that's actually just true. Like uh, the gauntlet side sick. Down sick comes yeah. through. As good as that down sick is, I think that's like a doubles only move. I I haven't seen like any reason to ever use it in the off middle the of the top. singles game. Uh, the recovery hits, and he only gets the edge of the recovery, and he still kicks Wes off the top. So Zach takes the lead here in game uh, in game number two. But yeah, it's been one of those moves where when I watch him body slam, I'm like, oh, you look so cool while doing that. But it's like. The, the coolness factor if it goes away when you lose. <laughs> it's like, it, that's fine. I, I want to see that used correctly. This game is much closer than our, our last one. Two stocks across the board. West with a little bit of damage here. Zach, honestly, has been kind of holding holding his own very comfortably here. Yeah. You know, Zach, Zach was playing fantastic uh, before getting knocked into the elimination bracket. I really liked uh, his test. It's the most signature heavy one so far. So seeing this matchup here against West go a lot closer in game two is what I hoping for because game one was like wow Wes you just destroyed this man um, down airs galore both back flipping towards center stage nice neutral stick attempt from Wes I like the idea there and the neutral like it's interrupted by that wake up from that. Zach that was, that was really fast 
Off to the left side. Scary place to be in the air against boots, against battle boots. That's not going to get the KO, but Wes is just trying to maintain control here. Mm, side light. The Nair. Sack maybe maybe he was just jumped there. Nice dodge from Wes to avoid getting picked up there. Goes to the Nair. That, that time the Nair was good. Okay, it was a dodge down where you, I, I see what Sack's going for. And that time didn't quite hit it. Dash forward, dash back, side wow. light, weight recovery. Sack crazy on the gauntlets. Um, and now that he's got a comfortable lead, he's like, okay, I'm going to showcase the boots once again. So that was pretty sick. He's really he's really dialed it in here. And then Wes, once again, Ooh. being like, this is the only way I know how to knock out on Tesco. <laughs> so it has, been, it has been like five side six, just throwing him forward oh, and back. He, so didn't, he didn't even throw him in the direction that he needed to because he's like, I've got to show how much force this man has. It's, uh, oh, it's a lot. Man, I love it. And as you know, in any fighting game or in any fight ever, in real life or in video games, the more you wind up your arm and the more you twirl your opponent around, the farther they will go when you hit them. I don't think that's a real life That is thing. actually just how it works. That's why he does a little twirl beforehand, right? Wind up punch. The reason right. why it's so powerful. Okay, here we go. Really close. Down light Nair coming through. Ooh, Wes tries to land with the down line. The neutrals oh, against the jump Wes, and Sack wow. can go down to his own pound. maneuver. And Wes, the ground pound, takes game two. And Sack, like that, is out of the elimination. I got to give Sack some huge props, oh. though. That game, Sack brought it back and was playing so well, so clean. Did confirm that, that KO with kind of that the, the biggest, most powerful signature, right? Which is amazing. We love that. And it really came down to the final stock. It was super close. Yeah. It was super close. Like, it wasn't a, I mean, it you're was giving, a, You're giving me the, oh, if only it was best at five depression vibes, but it's okay, you know. We're in, we're yeah, it's good. I mean, it was a best of three. That's <laughs> reality, best, you know? So, of, like, Sometimes you is. have your best of three, and you have to take the result. Um, I mean, look. <laughs> knocked out my, wait, hold on. A leopard or a tiger? Which one has stripes and which one has spots? Bro, I don't know. Chat? Chat? Answer the question. I don't remember, but I'm Is pretty this sure it's a jaguar. A jaguar? Yeah, it's pretty sure it's supposed to be a jaguar. Is jaguar under the category of leopard or tiger? We got, we can see it right there. Somebody identify this animal. What is this? Tiger has stripes. Okay. Oh. That's me. Oh, we're seeing. That's if we could me. focus it, that would be great. But like, just, just completely KO'd. Just, just or just taking a nap. Down. Either one's probably okay. KO'd. I definitely KO'd you. Tiger stripes, leopard has spots. It's leopard. Yeah, they're leopards. You were right the first time. Yeah, because it's Tesca. I just forgot the leopards existed. You forgot leopards existed? Yeah. I know. I, it, it, was a, it was a lapse in judgment. Sometimes. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> just this once. So what was I going to say about this? I was going to say invitationals and show matches and elimination brackets are brutal in general mm -hmm. because... The pro player experience goes from I got my eight free wins and pools to oh I'm fighting the best players in the region and game one, so it could be a little it could be a little rough sometimes, but I just want to highlight that Sack still played really well despite having to go down to Lores and then into Wes in like the span of an hour. Like that's just a thing it's, that occurs. yeah, and it's intense and it's it's yeah. a really good point that you bring up and it it's it's more than that. It's also it's the best of three experience like you're saying. Yep. And it's which also, normally when you meet these players, you're in the best of five realm. Right. And, so and then so it, it's also the the double elimination bracket experience too, right? Like format wise, I see what you're doing there. Format wise, you know, a double elimination bracket, especially in this way, is also you know funneling into to this experience that you're talking about. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's tough. But Sack played really well. Really curious to see who's going to stay. Don't, don't show the broken bracket. I like the bracket. I like the bracket. It's pretty. I spent time on we it. Get, we get Lores taking this trip all the way into, well, we don't even actually get the grands in this you, bracket. We have a grands bracket. <laughs> oh, it's different? Yeah, yeah. We could sh show the grands bracket. Show the grands bracket. You can just animate it just, over. Uh, look at that. Ogrim literally made it. Yeah, but <laughs> their names are going to be here <laughs> oh. in these white boxes. And you know, this in, is going to be the hindsight, score. Maybe they should have been above because we're standing like in front of it. That's true, but we can just step away, and then it makes me look short. So which side would we would we put uh, Laura's? This would have been because that's the winner side. The winner side, and that would have yeah. been elimination side. Okay. Well, Laura's is up there. Typically, use your imagination. Right. Use your imagination. We're not on grand finals right now. I think we're actually going down to elimination. I finals. think that this is. It should be elimination finals, right? Because this was think, semis. I think this is West versus Kaina. Uh, Cool. And we're just waiting for Kaina to get back in there. Probably Great. taking a quick, uh, quick bathroom break. So while that's happening, I mean, I I want to throw out there too no. that uh, on uh, today's Friday, on Tuesday, 
we let people know that, hey, if you want to check out a balance preview, um, you can go to barhala.com slash balance preview. Yes. And you can see what's going to happen in the next balance update. Yeah, you can either rejoice or lament the changes that are going to be coming up in both. the in the next batch. Yeah, that's um, correct. I also want to throw out there too that if you go onto our website, you can find some Brahala merch, some exclusive Brahala merch that you can get. Some of the leftover stuff from BCX, some of the Yeti stuff. Spiff might still be selling stuff. I'm not sure. Um, no one's in my ears to tell me if that's happening. But yeah, if you want cool Brahala stuff, like neither of us are wearing right now, it's okay, Sora. Um, they, they, you can still get fun. that. It'll be fine. And also, to add even more links onto the things that are are stressful for the website, but it will be fine because the website will survive, is brawl.com slash BH community. Something that we're doing today is a show match, but something that's happening this weekend, thanks to our amazing community tournament organizers, are brackets uh, for that where Tesca is going to be tournament legal. Yes. Uh, with a little bit of a juiced up prize pool compared to what the normal community tournament's going yeah. to be. And you can read about that community tournament weekend by going to brawlhall.com slash beach community and uh, checking out those those brackets. I think registration closes today. I, might, I don't know. It usually it's yesterday. it's it's a day or two before usually, so there's time yeah. for seeding. And, but maybe, and all maybe the there's time. Prep. And and you can check it out and sign up because I, there's uh, North America, Europe, and South America all have got brackets running. And then more than that, if you are looking to jump into esports for the first time or continue your esports journey, the official beginning of the Barhala 2023 esports year starts with February Championship, which is coming up February 3rd through the 5th and then the following weekend. Barhala.com slash winter. And you'll find all the information it's cold. there. And we do have a graphic. Which do we? Yes, but but production will have do to load we? it into I'm the looking, replay machine. I'm looking into the production area right now. Um, yeah, but it's not loaded up on the replay oh, machine. Okay. So right. You just have to believe us. Like, there is physically a graphic exists, you but it is not really You want to run back there and figure it out? I mean, I... Ah. We've got time. Kind of taking time. A, I'll do it. Kind of taking a minute. I can just talk to chat. How are, how are you guys doing? Brahal.com slash winter dancing blob emoji. Sora 1326 says... Hello, chat. What? How? How brutal the is the uh, the split going to be? Do we already do predictions for Kina versus Wes? Are we going to have ninety one percent of viewers ever believe in Kina as hard as they did today after that devastating defeat? Let me know, chat. What are you guys thinking? How are you guys feeling? Rana Um says I'm too broke to talk. Sorry about that. What about anybody else? Ha 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 ha! Black Brawlhalla. Love the laugh. Really great. There's that moment. Actually, I thought you had two A's in that laugh, but it was just a straight good laugh. Look at that. Toast doubling up as both on-screen talent and production talent has shown you all. Yeah, it was me. I did it. <laughs> it was me. I put that graphic. The winner championship. <laughs> Singles, February 3rd through 5th. Doubles, February 10th through 12th. A prize pool total of $100,000 with new viewership rewards soon to be announced. Good Register song. Register now. This was the Autumn Championship. For Holocom slash Winter. Jordy Mello 12 says, my, say my name, Taz. No. Kind I will here not too. say your name. There we go. <laughs> You're I a weirdo. Sometimes. I said it, though. You said it. I know that was the joke. That was why it was funny. You had to I say that I was a weirdo. Could have just moved on and been like, yes, definitively. Definitively. Called me out on my, my jank. No, it's okay. How are you guys doing, chat? Doing fine. Oh, we got we do have predictions this time. We I do have predictions. I, did, I didn't see what I didn't see what the split was because I was talking about it and then I got distracted because we got the graphic up. Yeah, winter Whatever. championship coming up. But kind of here they're loading in. We're going to stage oh. striking here. No one has struck in anything yet, but no. you can see it behind they're just, us. They're just considering none of this, none of this, none of that, and none of this. So we're going here. No, we're going there. I was wrong. It was a fifty-fifty. It was I, a fifty-fifty. Was really. I fifty-fifty the wrong way. I think I think if. Um, I think if it's a Lores guided stage striking, mm -hmm. it's Brawlhaven, and if it's kind of guided, it's Demon Island. And I th actually, I think Lores so doesn't you care. You approach these things with logic and intelligence. <laughs> I just point. Yeah, you that's point. my whole. You point, point, and then you point very quickly to the other side when one point. You have to commit when you point. Right. You know, you have to go. That's the one. Demon Chess says, "Who's the coolest Greatsword Legend to you guys?" That's a great question. For later, because Tesco. today is Boots. Who's the coolest boots. boots Legend, guys? I don't know. It's Chell is the, the best battle boost legend. Yes. You know, it's funny because we actually do have two choices. <laughs> yes, on it's Shell. Shell is the best battle boost uh, legend. Tough one. Okay, Kyna versus West. Rematch here. Best of five. We're in top three. So, 
Everything from here on out is going to be best of five. Straight up into the grand final where Lares, the only shell player in the entire bracket, has been undefeated and is waiting for the victor between these two titans of South America. Wes, with the signature side six, sends kind of flying into a stuff recovery effects and is trying to get those stock here with that side light or down light in the side air. Kicks him off the side of the stage and Wes takes the lead here for game number one. Nice lead. Damage is high on Wesley. Uh, it's on Wes, rather. Um, so it kind of can bring this back pretty quickly. Kind of just needs one good hit confirmed, and that's going to do it. Wes is not allowing it to happen. Wes is saying, nah, I'm good. You can't hit me. Yeah, Wes really good at, a, a, at avoiding a lot of attacks when it seems like it's Wes. Okay, okay. Now we get it. Do we get the side air in an active input no, in a yeah. knockout? Oh, we do, Toast. Oh. We get it. Kind of can't make it back from that. No, kind of can't make it back from air. that. That's it. Yo. It takes a lot longer than I thought, but we finally, finally we got it. to see a stock where you get hit by active input Sarah early and don't make it back. And Wes, of course, the first to showcase that. Kind of now down three to one. Really difficult to come back from here. Chat, is, is Wes the one blue one or, two. or the two? Yeah, we need, the, we need that split here. Kind of looking to bring it back even here. Like, I'd love if, edge. if Chat was still like 70% in favor of Kinda. After after what happened, that would be pretty amusing. I feel like chat tends to, to sway pretty harshly after a failed a failed bet, but that's true. I mean, kind of is confirming got got the first KO confirmed there, right? Uh, but it's still two one, and and Wes was able to, to make so much value out of that the, the tail end of their stock there, uh -huh. stock there. Ooh. And uh, so uh, Wes just has room. Wes just has room to play right now and to kind of build damage and get into a good position. But that's also what we saw when... It is 74% favor from Kaida. That's fun. Ooh. That's uh, that's like that's exactly what I would be surprised if it was. But it is that. Anyways, uh, Wes is a sight. There it is. I was... I was you were about to say, Wes is a side sig <laughs> away <laughs> from <laughs> victory. You were about <laughs> to say... <laughs> You were it's like, Wes it's, is how, us. It's, it's how he knocks people out. What am I supposed uh, to do? Not talk about it before it happens? No, you can talk about it before it happens. <laughs> it just feels a little weird. It's been it's, it's been happening well, a little too much to me. You know what makes it even a little bit weirder is that if you call it out before it happens, the closed captions will call it out oh, before, before it happens, it happens and before you say it. And even. then it's just kind of like, is this pre-recorded? It's not pre-recorded. It, it's pre-recorded chat. It's not. Three. This it is, is not pre-recorded chat. I saw, I saw the sides that happened yesterday. You did? No. I did. You, you didn't even come into the office yesterday. We, 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 we've had we've had four <laughs> weeks of broadcasts. We've already done them. We've already Bro, done you're them. telling me all of 2023 <laughs> is recorded all, already? All We're just recorded. playing it back? Community manager confirms in chat. This He's wrong. Is Don't listen to the community the manager. The period at the end of the sentence is how you designate when something is really serious. And I hope that you all know it's this. It's like when you text someone and they respond, <laughs> fine, period. You're like, oh, <laughs> what did I do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> We just got word for production. Remy did, in fact, win BCX 2023. Yo, good job, Remy. How's he doing that and also being an analyst? Yeah, it's pretty like you, know, you got to be juggling quite a bit there. Look at that knockout. Wes juggling uh, an entire kind of stock here in game number two. FXLBH says, guys, what is this tournament? This is the Tesca Exhibition Tournament, where we have six of the best players in South America playing Tesca or Shell uh, to see who's the best at the moment uh, in the region. And we've whittled it down to three. Lores with Shell is in grand finals. And Wes versus Kaina here is the lower elimination, that the elimination final here. With Wes up ahead, 1-0, possibly taking Kaina down to 2 -0 at this rate. But Kaina with a solid side stick takes that down. And that, my friend, is the recap of what this tournament is. <laughs> exactly. This is, this is where we are. Welcome to everybody that just joined in. When will the stream end? When the tournament ends. Yep. Wes picking up a beautiful KO there, clean stock. I mean, it's it's got to be hard, right? This is a finished final. This is a best of five, right? So we do have a chance to see this kind of yeah. We, turn we around did, in the we other did way. see it with Laura's, but so good. Wes, but Wes, is cool. Wes is just Ooh. controlling the game. Wes is controlling the stage. Wes is controlling the air, the ground. You know, like another opportunity for an edge guard here off that side or active input. I love, dude. Wes is so good. Wes is so good. I Wes think is Wes, picking up. I think every Wes is showcasing. Now, Kaina does make it back Ooh. there, and he does a really wacky gravity cancel neutral thing where Kaina's just kind of like, what? Butts him back, neutralizes him nice. twice. Side like, oh, he doesn't jump, he doesn't jump, he doesn't get the side air. Wes makes it back because of that. Kaina gets a down air ch diagonal chase dodge down into trying to get more of a reset here in both. Oh, that was cool. That was like synchronized. Synchronized. <laughs> and Wes picking up the KO. 
2-0 over Kaina right now in this best of five in the elimination finals right now. Right. Going right back into Mass Strike, and where are they going? Oh, Demon Islands. What? You think so? Yeah. The Kaina set. So? <laughs> You could at least pretend. We're not, we're not you could go, pretend. We're not going to go to. It's pre recorded. It's not pre recorded. Remy literally Kaza, said it was pre recorded. It's pre -recorded. Not pre recorded. I don't even have to pretend. Defensive is wrong. It, well, Remy said it. Uh, is Remy and defensive wrong? Remy's never been wrong in his life, so maybe I'm wrong. Here. I don't know. We're, it's going bad to Demon Island. Okay? <laughs> it's it's 2 0 oh in favor of Wes. We can see it at the bottom of the screen in that nice bracket graphic. And we're seeing, in the middle of the screen, Wes just kind of laying on a clinic. Oh, that oh. science that came so close. If that connected, that would have been a KO. More than likely. Kind of turning over back around. Opening up the damage. Holding it back. Kind of doing beautiful movement here. Oh, yeah. That's Great nice side of there. I love Part of that beautiful movement is, is being able to commit to the Sair and mm -hmm. then land it with your momentum afterwards. Yeah. Side sig whiffs. You're not Wes, kind of. You're not going to land that move. I, bro. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Wes goes over the gauntlets and stocks just fly. Recovery hits. Chase dodges up. Falls with stair. Kind of grabs him on the way down. Okay. Kicks him with that side air. Knocks him all the way to the right side of the stage. Can kind of take the lead here in game number three. He needs it. Yes. Neutral light pivots on the landing in great direction with that. Boots neutral light is really cool on finding because you can kind of hit it stacked. So if you know that you're going to catch somebody who's landing on top of you, mm -hmm. you pivot and you choose a direction where you want to knock them out and kind of turns around so that you can get that that forward momentum towards the side of the stage that's closest to him. Wes, no. Wes, however, experiences like this. one of the unfortunate realities of internet connection, but makes it back just in time. And kind of like, okay, touch the stage. Is everything okay, bro? Uh, kind of giving the homie stock. stock. But we'll kind of give two homies. No way. Because there's only one one homie there, so there's we're chilling. <laughs> Wes is hanging out on the other side, waiting, doing All right. some checks. All right. Wait for the taunt. Wait Neutral for the works. Here we go. Here we go. There's the Q505 the has been really Boom. celebrating. Uh, Kinda going for a second I think homie stock, or are they redoing it? There's a possibility they'll redo. We'll find out. Either way, whatever they choose is okay. If Kinda is kind of oh cool, oh. <laughs> it's actually the second homie. Kinda is insane. Kinda is insane. Kind of was like respect. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's see who wins it. Kind of like you know what? Let's just make it an even match. Holy cow! This is really everything on the line. Who's the best battle boot wearing Tesca? Yeah, this is good to go up against Shell. Wes. Wes. Putting out a bunch of downlines there, kind of on the back foot here on these fresh stocks, but gets the nares afterwards, falling down here into neutral light. Wes goes oh. to the neutral stick, kind of kicks him off the left side of the stage, goes for the recovery down air. Wes, no dodge, means kind of gets the neutral light, doesn't get the stair dive kicked. Ground pound, and kind of is out, and that is a victory coming out from Wes. Shout outs wow. to kind of. Absolute wow. legend. Yeah, that was pretty, I kinda really, that was pretty nice. It really was like, I'm not only going to one homie stock you, do a homie stock, I'm going to do two homie stocks. Yeah. Respect. And even when you look at, like, the strictest rules of homie stocking, right? There's no rules of homie there's, stocking. There's a very strict. You, it's I'm one gonna, for I'm one. Gonna tell you, I'm going to tell you it's right now. It's an eye for an eye. I know I know that if Sparky was on the desk right now, he would be very, very upset. Yeah, because you take those. <laughs> yeah. You take those. You take and the I, win. And I am saying that the rules of homie stocking is you, you, you don't. There's no rules. It is no. a very. It is a no, very. No, 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 no. It is a no, very. No. This is a. Look, you take this the is win. Whole, this is a whole discussion. There could be like a series, not a series, but like a dedicated like day in somebody's podcast where they could talk about just this. Look, We're not going to be able to cover this. Anymore. We don't have to cover the whole thing, but basically gonna make me. it's an eye for an eye unless you take the victory, right? What are you? I don't actually understand. Right? You lose one stock to unfortunate conditions. Yeah. If you give the homie stock, you give one stock. Yeah. If you lose two stocks to unfortunate conditions. Yeah. I think it's still just one. Then you can also give two stocks. Okay. I wouldn't. Yeah. I'm not a homie. Yeah, I know. It's fine. The difference is, like, do you have homies or not? That's, like, <laughs> that's literally just what, what the rule no, is. No, I take the win, Taza. <laughs> I know. That, that's what I'm saying. If Sparky that, was here, you would works. agree with me. You take Sparky the win. Sparky has no homies. He would never give a homie stock. That's the point. That's <laughs> We're going into this next game. Oh it's God. grand finals. <laughs> here we go. Fade out for me. We've got Loris Grand versus Finals. West. I Best believe. of five. 
I don't remember the bracket, but I think kind of was in Loras' way, right? All right? So this is the first time Loras and Wes are fighting. And Loras had that huge upset over Kaida. Um, he now is here on winner's side of Grand in this best of five against Wes, who also had a pretty big upset over Kaida. Mm -hmm. um, Loras beat Wes in semis. I have the memory of uh, I don't Goldfish. Know, what, the Goldfish? I was going to say Mouse. Which one no, has a worse memory? Goldfish. Goldfish have worse memory? Yeah, it's okay. I pulled up the bracket on my cellular device. Thank you. Loras takes the first stock. Here we go. Uh, grand Finals. Here for the Tesco Exhibition Tournament here in South America. We're down to two players, so Shell and Tesco, Loras and Wes. Loras did knock Wes out. You might have said this earlier, right? Yeah, yeah, earlier yeah. in I the semifinal. So this, this is the run back, right? This yeah. is. And it was a 2 0 in favor of Loras. Yeah, pretty handedly. Um, it was where I was like expecting Wes to like have a really crazy performance, and then I didn't. And I guess like, and the nine percent. And I, I guess when I think about it, right, the reason why I forgot is because it was actually just that fast. Yo, nice Wes, no sig. way. Catches Loras in the midst of a ground pound to say, "No, I won't go down three stocks to one again," because that's what happened when they last met. That's true. All right, we got some fireworks. We're in it. We're in it. Wes, going for it, Loras. That side take, not getting it. Nice down air, lands, gets the neutral light, gets a turnaround side light. So much damage coming on the Loras, but Loras kicks him off the side of the stage and oh, goes no, for the air to cover no his head. Up. Wes is really good at catching you out when you go over the edge to kind of get the KO there. Oh, what, you're talking about with the, with the boots there? Yeah, with the boots there. Oh, the neutral gets again. Is Wes found a new gauntlet signature in his arsenal? He's like, I don't just need side sig now. <laughs> It hasn't KO'd. It's pretty cool. Well, he, I mean, the well, first one. Well, the first one, but it hasn't KO'd a second time yet, you know? Yeah, but it has connected, which it's is the rule. It has to happen twice. I can say that they've done with the move. Cider hits. West might bring it back. Lorez can't come back to the stage. No dodge, no momentum. Goes down to one stock. Wes up two to one in game number one. Chat says Lorez W equal true. Well, Steve 90 RZD. We'll see if that's correct. Yes, the stream will end when the exhibition ends. Yeah, the stream ends when it ends. Laura's You've heard it here back. first. Going for the recovery. West dodging through it. Bring it back around, pushing Laura's off the right side. Laura's throws a weapon. Picks up the boots. Goes in, gets the count on to Wes. Even socks. Slight lead for Wes. Yeah, Laura's uh, brought that back pretty nicely. Wes has had some really great explosive combos coming out here on Demon Island. I wonder if this is going to be the first uh, match that we see Laura's go back to Brawl Haven. Uh, but I don't know. I think Demon Island might just be the place to be the rest of this, this tournament. We'll, we'll find out in a little bit. Side light, or down light rather, comes through, trying to catch those landings from West. West dodging back, dodging forward, waiting for Laura to commit to something. And Laura's commits to something that he wasn't expecting, which was dash to fastball, yep. pivot there. Okay. Laura's pretty crazy on the boots. Down light ground nice pound, ground though, down. might take Laura's down. Can he make it back? No, he cannot. G Slide kicks on the stage. That's GG. Game one goes to West. Game one goes to West. I think we do bracket reset in this. Yes? I don't know. You don't know? I really I don't think, know. I think you make the decision. I. Why don't you know? It's recorded. It's According to you. It is recorded. It's not recorded. If we're recording this, though, we're, we're having this active like decision now. You get Are what I'm we? saying? Like, if, if something's pre recorded, what's happening right now is we're in the midst of recording it at the time. But of we're which not it's recording this. Listen, chat. It's game two coming up. Wes is up. Look, we'll do and a I'm going to say that there's a bracket reset. If there's a bracket reset. If there's a bracket reset, we'll do it. I feel like we will see either a game five or like a one three reset. That's just like a, a gut feeling, like a vibe. Yeah. That's my vibe. Okay. A vibe as well. Wes wins this one three one. Lorez wins the next one three two. Okay, that's mine. Okay, that's my vibe. What do you guys think, chat? It's pre-recorded. If you consider the delay between you saying things and the time it takes to reach our monitors. Excellent point. Yeah. Yeah. No. That, no. No, because it's just in transit. I see. Right. Interesting. Like we, we can't do anything while it's in transit. Three, Once it hits, two, it's theoretically. One. Theoretically, we don't have that technology. Not yet. All right, we're going to do a reset here. Yeah. Um, Lower is just uh, shooting off some fireworks. True. Right. We are now in Demon Island. Are we? My arm isn't. 
Nah, there you go. That's good. You gotta stay in now, one zone. Now you just are right? like. Oh, Laura's almost like punched him in the face there. Kind of funny. Well, this is like this shot right here. No, go back. This this with hand the, with the hand is like like getting ready it's to like like, like uh, fling you back. Yeah, you know? I'm like oh god, he's, he's going for like, that side stick on you. Crush my head like a he's grape. Side stick you. <laughs> yeah. I'll pick you and spin it's you. Terrifying. Yeah, just and ra throw ragdoll you. effects. Which would be very funny in the moment, and then afterwards it would Painful. be pretty. It would be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it would be pretty traumatic, like physically. My All right, goodness. we're back in this zero-one in favor of West currently. Might wear protective gear when boxing. <laughs> My God, West looking for a oh, really Nutrisig early side KO sig. here. He has he has completed Tesca. <laughs> neutral sig into side sig. He's done it. This is this is what Tesca is meant to be like. Peak performance. Side air. Oh, what a weapon. Should have caught the gauntlets that. again. Laura is just sc sc scraping for the sky there with that neutral signature. Couldn't uh, quite grab Demon Island. Any other stage, maybe, but in this case, no. Wes solidly takes the lead in game two. Laura is looking for the way back in, looking for how to get West down. But if you look at the damages, they're even. There's just a whole stock apart. You know, this is this is like adding 100 or subtracting 100 to a number and saying they're the same number. They're not the same number. Terrible analogy, I understand. Don't worry about it, Chad. It's okay. Laura is even coming out there, throwing out the tree. Gravity cancel? Oh, just waiting it out a little bit. Make sure everything's okay. Here we go. Game number two. West kicking around, side air is coming back and forth. Down light goes through. Okay, nice job. Kicks him off with the down air. Goes for a ground pound, but doesn't get the jump. And Laura just says, "All right, I'll take that." That's a that's miss that jump input, and you go down. You try yep. to play. It's it's a it's a fun thing, in in um, in Brawlhalla in general, where like you can technically play too fast, mm -hmm. which is to say, if you put in your inputs before they can even be registered, you just you know, you just won't get what you're looking for. Right. I gotta say, they kind of slowed down a little bit. Oh. Huge pickup from Wes against the wall. Yeah, that's the down stick. Yeah, so you get the, you get the active input with it, where you either spike or you can just launch them in the opposite direction. Uh, and he goes for the launch against the wall because the spike against the wall. I, I honestly don't know how it would have interacted there. It may have just dropped. It may. Have, yeah. Uh, ground pound comes through, and Wes goes in for the ground pound himself. Both players just fighting off stage. Ground pound hits. Oh man, they're both just kicking each other in the head. Side air drops because of the fade back. Wes can pick up into immediate connection here. Oh. Laura's trying to take it back. Coming up on the left side. Like that side air, Getting uses neutral. the momentum to get back onto the stage. And Laura, however, West. gets down sick again and neutral sick. West oh goes with the weapon throw, game. and that's game. West showcasing every signature in every Tesca's signature. kit. And Laura's is now down 0 2. Down 0 2. So I think Laura's has to win this next one, and then West will take it 3 1 for and the then pre for the reset. Game. That's that's what we're, we're predicting. Yeah. Unless West just 3 0s here. But it's pre recorded. Taza. <laughs> Alright, we're jumping back into a three two one brawl, Demon Island, one more time. This is this is Laura's winning. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cast this so biasedly in Laura's favor. Good. And that's going to manifest our reality. Here we go. <laughs> Wes just on the back foot here. Can't get anything started. Laura's sidelight nairing into weapon throw nair. Ah. Look at this. Laura's just running away with the momentum. There's no way Wes is going to be able to come back from this oh game number goodness. three that Laura's already has in the bag. I know he's got Laura's off the left side, but really, what can he do? When Laura's goes and picks up this weapon, Wes is going to lose this stock in an instant. Okay, ground pound hits. That's a little scary, but look at that. Made it back. Even damage. Is it, it's not even damage, no, Shazo. It's even. It's even. It's Look at that. Punishes right. the side stick, uses that side air, doesn't do the active input, waits for the landing. Oh, but Wes is good at covering those landings. Oh, silent recovery There's the recovery. Hits, but it's not enough to knock out. Wes is KO. sweating. Holy cow. It's so close. Gets that side air, puts him off right, the side of the, the stage, waits even. for the ground pound. The down like doesn't connect. Whoever gets the hit gets the KO. What? I can't believe that Nair like, caught that. That's insane. I think Wes went for like, a dash. Yeah. Neutral sig. <laughs> There's West the gets the recovery. No. All right, so still solidly in West's favor for now. But Lessa, Laura said a very good uh, start to that stock, and that side of the recovery will make it like that uh, never even happened. Yeah, it's, two it's, two. it's a two stock. We came in with two stocks. I mean, we started the game with two stocks. That's not what happened. So when you know says, first time the caster's bread chat, never seen it happen before. Well, that's because it's a dev stream. I know I've got this like super official tournament tone, but really, it's somewhere in between, you know? 
Chad, just, don't worry. Coming up in 2023 is voice changes for your casters. Voice changes for your They'll push a button, <laughs> and it will be like... Will I have to hear it in my own ears? Yeah, you'll sound like a robot <laughs> in your own ears. <laughs> Jeff Lee, like, I can't do that. I, I will. Well, you have control. Uh, I'll just turn it on. My goodness. Look at how ahead Loris is. Yeah, I mean, it's it's because you stopped being so pro -Loris. Neutral sick hits. Goes for another one. Downlight recovery will knock out here. Loris gets it. Loris does get wow. it. You call that ahead of time. Pre-recorded. It's not pre-recorded. <laughs> what do you mean? How could I have known? Uh, how did the, the, the game have one known? victory that Loris needs before West takes it to a grand final <laughs> bracket reset is about to occur. Is the announcer for the guy who says game, game. and ever going to cast? No. no. But it's a fun idea. Thanks for putting it in chat. Well, Loras goes in for that downlight side air. It hits. Taking out some good damage. Is booted. Gets nice. caught out. Loses. Yeah, his despite, boots. Despite Coming up. Neutral gets caught Sega. out by the side air. Can't come back from that one to one on the stock line. Despite West neutral sig on, on, on Gauntlet's not spiking on stage, it still sends you really far. It does. Like, that was that was brutal. Loris does have boots now, does have the damage lead here. Picking up some good pickups here. West turning it back around, moving it back, waiting for the right time to gauge, going for the punish. Because the signature does not catch it. Loris pushing forward. Oh. Nice weapon throw forward. West really good with that. He's using waiting. it the recovery as well. Down light recovery. I don't think it's going to knock out uh, this early. One good hit. That won't KO, but oh. if you can get a follow up here. Ground don't pounds. risk it, Loras. Don't Side risk air. it. Just pick up the weapon. All right, we got booth back. There we go. That'll that'll do it. Okay. All right. One, two, two, one. Two, one. I mean, both are correct. Yes. I guess it just depends on who Typically, you lead with a bigger number, though. Yeah, which is why what you said, like, was was me. bad feeling. <laughs> yes. I said it, and I was like, I don't like this. It's okay. Two, one. Two, one. Favor of Hues. Yeah, and the reason why Wangana doesn't actually know when the stream ends, despite it tangibly being measurable from one game, since the game can only last up to eight minutes, is because if there's a bracket reset here, we get a whole nother best of five. Mm -hmm. um, which, according to the script, West is going to take this game 3 1. And then we're going to go script. to a, we're gonna go to a Laura's. Oh, West victory. will take this 3 1. Back in it, Laura's. Let's go. This is Sparky878. Welcome, Sparky, to the stream. Glad you can make it. You missed the homie stocks. Two. There were two homie stocks. It was wild. You would have been appalled. <laughs> uh, here we go. Game number four. Lores boots on feet. I. This is the first weapon that I can't like. It's not like caster fill and say boots on hand. Boots in hand. I can't say boots in hand. Battle boots on boots. Battle boots on feet. on feet. I've never had this problem before. It's breaking my brain. You could say. They have the shoes on. Freed the Dolphin says, hold up toasters on comms. What the nostalgia? Yeah, it's been three years. Yeah, it's a bad kind of nostalgia. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long time. He is, he is here. Uh, really close here and boot it up. Boot it up. Slosh, they're not computers. I. They, they are in a video game, but they, we need something. I like there. boot it up. <laughs> Uh, Lores up actually three to two. Uh oh, Ooh. that's not good for for what I've predicted. Uh, Wes, you better bring this back, buddy. Yo, uh, Lores, prove that this is not a pre-recorded storyline. It's true. It's true. Oh. <laughs> Wes dodges in place. Nice job. Actually, avoids the nares. Lores has been doing like these dash jump fastball pickup nares to like. I don't know, to stop everything. They've been beautiful. Yo, what? Just booted up, ready to shut them down. I am smiling in pain. I kind of love it. I love it. Why does, why does Slosh have that good idea? Yeah. Tell me, Toast. Tell me why. Why does Loras have to have good ideas with Shell? Why are these I players so good? Recovery hits. Because they're better than oh, us. That's the he point. He perfectly outspaced the side sync by just standing still. Oh, Dick, no. you're killing me. Laura's going for the grand pound. Wes avoids it. Nice neutral sig. Goes for neutral sig. Not going to hit. Goes for neutral sig. I love not it. Not going to hit. Love all of Waiting for that weapon toss. To if that weapon toss was a little bit out, more forward, off the right side, gets KO'd. It would have been cool. Up in the lead. Wes saying, I have to get two stocks. Does have to get two stocks, but he will make it happen. Will the, he? Neut the neutral sig will spike boots? Uh, off of the boots here when he catches the jump. Oh, he almost He has it. to catch the jump. It was so close. Wes and is going in for some signature okay, KO Wes. options Wes. here, and it's not working. Wes. Like, Wes is just going for the KOs. He's playing like I do on Queen 9, which is optimal. He's wake-up signaturing from the ledge. 
Loris is going to get KO here. Watch it. Ground pound. Oh, Loris. Oh. Neutral sig hits. Hey, Not quite the, the spike I was sig. looking for. All right, this might be this might be going to a game five. Here. It might be going. Dealer recovery. Five. Okay, West cleans West it up. KO? Okay, we could see it. Final stocks. I feel it in like my my like DNA here. Okay, West is going to get this win. Is West going to get this win? Yeah. Find out next time. Find out next time. We just throw it a break immediately. <laughs> That's all you know. Oh, Loris. The neutral sig hits. Oh. There's no the way follow, The ground pounds? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. No ground pound. That was it. I have been defeated, Toast. This nope. is not pre-recorded. This is live. Psych, it's a live action tournament. You've all been duped. Welcome to the stream. It's live. Welcome to Brawl Hollow. I tried my best. Yo, let's go, Loris. Get that 3-2 now. It would be a 3-2. Yeah, we're 2-2 we're two, two at the moment. We're going to game number five. Laura is playing really well. And West, despite those early games going so well for him, uh, Laura seems to just be totally uh, warmed up now. Honestly, Team Laura is now, says Bondi K. Shout wow. out to Bondi K and Bondi K's videos. We love them. Yeah, L Loris is fantastic, doing some awesome stuff on the boots. Wes, uh, once you get past uh, the the ways that he likes to use these signatures, like so, on Tesca, it seems that Loris is very comfortable uh, fighting him in, in with the yep. neutral game on this weapon. And look at that down light, that. side air, gets the extra dis Follow distance up. on the active center input. Farther, center Ooh, clash. Good job with the dare from Wes to use that while sweating. Uh, good peace of mind because he was really out of options. And the down sick, he slide charge, pivots it, gets the active I'm input to send him to the back. I'm shocked that didn't KO. And, huh. Huh? I feel like Loris had the, the movement. I think he could have just dodged. But what he was hoping for was that Wes was going to, like, dash jump, pivot anything. Yeah. And then he didn't. And I also think, because Loris and I both, like, thought he had the drift after the neutral sig happened. Right. And he just didn't. Uh, learning experience there for Loris. Live. I also thought you would have the drift after that neutral sig happened, but I guess. Any other stage would have worked. Demon Island. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's barely a character. A character length height on That's the true. wall. The short, short walls. Weapon toss into pick up. Wes just laying out the damage here. Loris picking up the boots. Pushing West across to the right side. Nice air. Out. Nice side yeah. air. It's gotta be Laura, a KO. <gasps> I think Loris thought he had a little bit more time before he could jump, and he just hit the blast zone. That that was rough. Yeah, because he could have came back from that. Loris, what? Oh no. Loris with these gauntlets in hand now, just kind of weighing things out, looking for that opportunity. But Wes is just really running away with this game number five. Bracket resets inevitable at this Bracket point. Bracket reset though. is inevitable at this point. Yo, Ooh. we love the weapon toss from a mile away. Loris could bring this back. No. Just needs to play a perfect game. Okay. I, I mean, mean, that's a denial right there. That gravity cancel? Yeah. Got denied. I, did he get his jumps back or is he still sweating? Okay, he's fine. He's good. Land, sides it comes nice through. Loris. Nice okay, punish. kicks him twice. A third kick would be huge. Try to go for a dodge up read with that recovery. Oh. That ground pound was like so close to being perfect, but that's game. Wes gets the recovery. We're Nair resetting. To celebrate. We're going right into game number one of the bracket reset. So this bracket is the final reset. best of five of this Tesco exhibition tournament here with South America's best. We're in the last set toast, uh, and it's very evenly matched between Loris and Wes. Loris wins. Shell wins. Shell wins. I. Chat. Shell wins. Yeah. Shell. Shell. We're supposed to say Tesca. that's Tesca. Yeah. This is the same. It's the same leopard. It doesn't matter. Play along, Taza. Okay, I got Have it. Have some fun for once in your life. I'm having fun right now. <laughs> we had. To... <laughs> that, was, that was so brutal. <laughs> you just say, what are you? <laughs> What do you, what do you, you put a mic on I, me. I have a lot of fun every day, chat. Don't you, let this man put a mic gaslight you. <laughs> Never in my life. The South America pre-recorded Tesca exhibition. That's right. That's not pre-recorded. <laughs> Last time Tesca had fun, he kept being lost at keep talking and nobody explodes. This sort is correct. Actually. Wes <laughs> here is able to get back to the edge there. Oh, wait. no, Loris goes for the first down sig that could have ever it's worked. It's And it doesn't. What time does it start today? Friday Ooh. dev stream start at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Eastern time, Raven of the Fury. This is a little bit longer than a punish. normal one because exhibition uh, oh, dev streams tend to be two hours-ish, depending on how many games are played. Uh, Loris is a nice pick up there. That will get the KO. Loris taking the lead here. 
Pretty good. Yeah, and it was after what looked like it could have been a really early stock from Laura's whipping the down sig. Uh, even even after that game five victory for West, I do feel like that as the set goes on, Loris really ramps up uh, yes. with the boots, no matter who he's playing against. Uh, so a what? A little further, that and that would have KO'd off the bottom. Interesting. You know, yeah. it bounced. Yeah, neutral stick is a really hard uh, move to aim for the boots. It's super unique when it comes to just brawl hollow signatures in general. Yep. Knockback moves in general. Nice neutral light hits. Dash Jeez. jumps forward, falls the stair, D like ground pound, avoids the wake up neutral sig. Laura is so good about that. Yeah. Uh, There's the KO. Wes gets the D light recovery, and that takes him down. Yeah, really, really nicely done. Love boots down light so much, just because of the alternative that you get. We haven't seen too much, like, uh, low percent active input down light combos on the boots. You get that, like, second low sweep can set up for a lot of really cool strings. Most of the time, we're just been using it for the, the knockout finishers, which is good as well. There we saw it. Okay, awesome. Nice down up. light, active input, carries Loris to the left, gets the neutral sig, down light into that falling nair. Loris wakes up, gets his own active input, Sair, and Wes now with the with the boots is trying to fight back as Loris uh, did a good job with that wake up turnaround. Wes, far far ahead here though. Oh, that he's so good with that down stick. He keeps going for those slide charge pivot down sticks to try to get early knockouts. Nice. Good job with the neutral light. Just kicks him. I don't know what the set line is going to be on this one. Yeah, I mean, it could just go to game five at this point. It's super close between both of them. West, just a really, really good player in South America in general. Laura is also really, really good. And both players are playing a character in a way that's super different from each other. Um, and it's just a matter of who can adapt faster in the midst of a set, because there's not going to be a break in between this. There's no like, okay, see you in the next time we rematch later on. This this is that. Um, game one. Game one, one to one. One to one. About four minutes in here. Ooh. I honestly, I'm shocked. I don't know. I don't know how this goes. Shell wins, obviously, but... <laughs> How does I don't know how this goes. It, it goes like this, but how does this go? Is it a 3-1? Is it a 3-2? I see, I see. Because uh, Loris is about to get the KO here on the left side. Just wait, just wait, just wait. It's going to happen. Uh, West falls with the Sair, tries to go for the neutral stick. That would have spiked a little bit, bit of extra momentum. Double silent, no recovery. Loris gets out, goes for the silent recovery again. Loris can't get the landings here with the Nairs. Gets the dive kick, side light. Ooh. Oh, gives him a light little tap. Doesn't follow afterwards. Neutral light connects. West can go for the edge guard here. Goes down for that pickup recovery. Doesn't quite find it. Down to the splash. We finally saw it. Yes. It's such a. I'm not going to say it's a bad move. No. I don't think it's a great move in singles. But he finally caught him with that, like, haha, you thought moment yep. of, oh, look at how bad I am. I'm down sigging and fading back in neutral. And then Lores goes in to be like, I'm going to punish you. And then, like, the green energy blast comes through. And you're like, dang it. This character's like Azoth, too. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yes, it does linger, Not and it's very splash. strong. It's very strong. It is very strong. Uh, and we finally got to see the down sig knockout off the top, and it's like, what the heck? But it is it is brutal. And that move has been very unsuccessful all day today, so let's go Wes. Or was it Loris? Three, Wes won. Two, Wes won with that, yeah. Wes won out. Yeah, nice. Okay, okay. All right, good. Just making sure. I was like, I was so excited about the down sig, I didn't realize who used it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just didn't, it didn't cross my mind. I was so excited about the down save. I was, I mean, I, I was, I was just kind of like, you know, crash talking it the entire time, no matter who used it, because it just missed. Um, Maybe here we go, game two, West up again. Very close between these two players. Could go either way at this point. Like memes aside, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to try calling this set because it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I would just say from, from what I see, Laura's has a. Uh, a much better combo game with the boots, but Wes is much more accurate with punishing with the signatures. And when I put those two together, I say Wes has a higher potential to to steal games away from Lores. Uh So we'll just have to see how Lores plays around with that, because that's the first down to knockout from Lores that I think we've seen really early on. Wes picks up some boots, though. He's booted up. He's and booted up and set. ready to shut down. Ready to shut down. <laughs> You know, I realize why I hate it. It's because it's like you turn on a computer and then you're like, but it's also like you can just press the power button again. Holy Yo, cow, Wes. Wes. is so crazy. He is booted up. But also, shut down <laughs> is something that. It's not working. This is not working. The announcer says. 
It is true. So after, it's, after it's got layers, of, you, like an it, ogre or it, an it, onion. It's common in, in doubles, uh, in 2v2s, to see um, shut, shut down. down happen when somebody's like knocked out somebody five times. But here we go. Wes, with a great recovery, still has a lot of work to do, though. Uh, several more of those nares are going to have to hit if he wants to be able to bring this one back, because Laura is oh. super far in the lead. Goes in for that pivot stare, and Laura just kicks him off the left side of the stage. That active input on the side light picks up some gauntlets, but doesn't get the side sig. Wes, hit by the gauntlets. Down light recovery. That's going to be the stock. Laura is one stock away from bringing this one to one. This is intense. That's all I can say, really, is it, it's pretty intense. Wes going in. Trying to push this down to that one-to-one -one stock right now. Loris on the left side waiting for the time to come in. Does get the engagement. Switches positions. Waiting for the punish. Ooh, does pick it up. I like the recovery in there. That's very safe. That's very cool. Same the the chase dodge to possibly go for even more. If his opponent uh, jumps prematurely. Nice shot with the stair. Puts him on the stage. Down light. Landing catch. No, Wes. Smart about that. Loris has been getting everybody with that today. Wes, Wes pushing in. Oh. Picks it up. Throws it down with a weapon toss. Grandpa. That was a really good recovery from Lorez. That was yeah. it was hard like from where West jumped, it was hard to get the down line afterwards because he was yeah. like, I, I guess hoping for more knockback off of the weapon throw, but gets the side of recovery anyways. It was unfortunate Lorez ran out of movement right above us. Right up above the stage. Yeah. 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 But he was all, he was above the stage, yeah. so it just it didn't matter. That's game. That's uh, game. Loris, Loris. Uh, takes that knock out uh, while I was so looking one, at you and having two a conversation. One. So I didn't see exactly how it happened, but it is uh, one to one. One to one. Yeah. So now we've turned this best of five into, into a best of three. Oh, don't do that. You don't like when that I happens. Hate, I hate. I do this occasionally when I'm just like watching, being logical. You're like, this is now a best of three. You know, not even watching. I've literally just said this on stream. It's yes. probably annoyed you every time that I've done it. No, I don't think I've ever heard you say it before. Two. Oh. Well, anyway, it's, it's not actually that. It's just one to one. But if you were like to look at it from a math perspective, it makes sense that it is a best of three remaining. Let's not. I'm never gonna bring this up again. No, no, not, not, it's never gonna happen again. Here we go. Lorez versus Wes. Demon Island. It's just like we just decided this is the battle boot stage. I don't think we want to go anywhere else ever again. Um, Loras gets hit by the recovery by Wes, falls with the side air, and Loras with the gauntlets. Flying around, goes for a side light here and there. Wes getting that nice unarmed punish, and gauntlets are picked up himself. I still like uh, boots on one of the players here when it comes to this fight, because the gauntlets versus gauntlets, I think, just goes in Wes's favor. So let's see what Loras can do. Boots picked up, Loras being weapon starved. Unfortunate spawn, still manages to get him on his feet somehow. And here we go. Still even up until that neutral sig hits. No follow up, however. I'm starting to realize that that neutral sig on boots is actually not like great side sig on the on the can uh, on the landing there. But the neutral sig on boots is what about not it? actually that great of a knockout move at high damage because it bounces you off the stage. The bounce in itself inherently takes out a ton of momentum, right. and you can only get knocked out off the top. It's not even like a, a, a side or a diagonal. So, not the greatest move to go for if you're like, if you know where someone's gonna go and you wanna punish, you might as well go for a stair or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess boots just have trouble covering that space outside of recovery. We saw the recovery right there, just whiff, but even game so far, two to two, super close in this game three. Laura's getting a nice punish off of that side signature. Laura's pushing into, going for the ground pound, not gonna get it. West gets the stage, coming back here, going in. This is near Laura's. Laura's is staying out on the left side, getting kind of held out there. Laura's gonna get the wall touch, recover the jumps, come back in. We're back center of stage again. Laura's standing, moving, swaying, shifting, kicking, kicking, flying, yes, slipping, battle, booting, <laughs> shutting <Just> down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Loras here is style. gonna get this KO. Loras has to get this KO. I mean, how are you, Loras? Okay, Loras that's fine. fair. I mean, Wes just has really good movement, right? Like, yeah, and it's it. also really hard to recover from Demon Island. Oh, Daylight Nair doesn't true. get the neutral stick afterwards. It's the a damage, tight, it's a tight uh, combo there. What's that? What's the, the damage on both of them. You'd expect finally the KO here. That, that that gauntlet recovery does get a lot of KOs. Yeah, gauntlets have to work really hard for their Daylight recovery. You can't. You don't. You don't get to just. Delight recovery. <laughs> you have to like do this funny uh, gravity cancel chase dodge thing. It's 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 difficult, but it's also very very good, and that's why it's worth having if you're if you're a gauntlet player. Right. 
West gets a, oh, a cider at the perfect cost. angle into a weapon throw at the perfect angle. Laura is just getting caught right at the edge of the stage there, getting carried away and off the stage to make this the closest one to one, one stock versus one stock situation. West. Holy cow. Right there. Nice. You're just like dunk. Just Weapon throw usually Weapon follows toss. afterwards, and that's going to be nice. A grab to cancel. Grab out. D double grab pound. Triple. Goes no. to the nair to reposition West for a third. But they make it back. Great job recovering from that. So uh, it's the first time I've seen Laura successfully recover with the neutral sig using it as a momentum tool. And then also reverse things on West for getting his own neutral. He was a really nice reversal, too. And you did see West kind of guard his uh, recovery with oh, the weapon toss outward. That was such a clutch, exhausted recovery there. Laura's just barely making it back after that dive kick. West, however, has the weapon starve advantage. He's going to switch right over to the boots. boots Get that side it. light, okay, or the down light into side Laura's air. I think recovery would have back. knocked out there. And uh, nice movement gets the side air. Not going back. for recovery may have cost West the up. game. That'll do it. Wow. I was going to say wow, even without the big text. That's that said, how wow. good the end of match fanfare is. But I love it was like wow. feet grab, throw. And these that was are, very satisfying. These are props for a reason. It's because we're using them to demonstrate. Please don't actually grab them with your feet. Feet grab. <laughs> Throw. That's not a foot. Three, two, it's not even a boot. I don't have. What kind of. It's a shoe. Use your imagination. Sorry. Battle boots are like upgraded shoes, you know? They're like three tiers up. I can. Uh, All right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recovering from that. Oh, man. What, what happened? West did a really cool down sig, and it was really awesome. And he threw his opponent off the side of the stage. Uh, here we go. And the uh, and and the Brawlhalla voice guy said, wow. At the same time that you said, wow, where you both would have had the same reaction. All right, anyway. Could be a better day. We're moving through here. We're moving on. It's 2-1. It's 2-1 in favor of West Correct. right now. Um, and we're Cat Gamer 1, 2, 3, 4, Cat says, I wonder who will win. So do I. I do too. This could go to a game five, which would be a game 10 if it were to do that. Um, or this could end here, right? If Wes wins this, that's the end. Wes is champed, uh, is, is crowned the best Tesca. Laura is best, crowned the best Shell. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very correct. Um, Laura goes down to two stocks here. Assemblade says, your look and remind me of my cousin. Well, have you have you talked to your cousin recently? It might be me. <laughs> Laura is coming remember. around, trying to turn this around. Goes up here, side air. Weapon toss out from West. West can't come back there. Realizes it goes for the uh, the quick KO there. Stocks even across the board. Very even. Very uh, even. First, uh, the advantage goes over even. to Laura's though because the weapons was already on his feet. <laughs> That's gonna be it. I'm glad I'm having this practice. You could say his boots were already equipped. Boots were equipped to his person. You don't need the last part. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, but again, you see Laura's oh, here kind of on the sick. back foot, literally like on the back foot in the red. Having to pick up the gauntlets to kind of turn it back around to West, but West just dives deep, gets the dare, gets the KO. West a whole stock up. Yeah. And like not up. even at a high damage threshold either right now. <laughs> and, the, and the player who, uh, in I am out zero, I am out is zero. That's what it is. I don't want this to go 2 2. Well, you might have your wish granted. Never Laura's. mind. Laura says, I West want this no to go movement. 2 2. Brings it up to a last stock scenario here in game number four. If Laura's wins this, it is a game five, game 10. It would be a game 10. Uh, it would be a game 10. Grand final uh, here for this Tesca exhibition tournament. Pretty crazy. Lores gets that sidelight. Okay. Kicking him forward. West, West tries to get back to the stage. That neutral light gets punished by that falling stair. Down light side Lores. air. Lores kicks him off the stage. Nice weapon toss. West picking up the gauntlets, coming in, getting the down air, going in. Stay on the left side, waiting for the space because the signature doesn't get caught. Lores moving in on the left side to push out. West turning it around. Even damage across the board. This really could, could go for Lores. But no, the damage build up. Suddenly, uh, suddenly very much in favor of Wes here. Wes goes to the signature. Doesn't get punished by it. Actually picks up a neutral play. Oh! And the ground pound! The ground pound gets it off the dash jump. Just the classic dash jump pivot ground pound. Something that we've been seeing since Gauntlet's release, since Scythe players. And yeah. That's the first time I think that I've seen Shell get knocked out on stage here. On, yeah. On stage. On our physical stage. What stage is this? Is this Brawlhaven?
Uh, I forgot. I don't remember. It's based off of something. Chat will know. I used the old tutorial stage for <laughs> some of the reference art because I really like the textures on it. Shout out to the challenge system. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out if you haven't already. All right, congratulations <laughs> to Wes. Really great run considering, like, we I didn't really highlight this enough. Wes went down really early. Really early. Uh, into the elimination bracket. And then she just exactly rampaged his way through all of the best Tesca players and the best Shell players so to become the victor of this uh, exhibition. Wes started yeah. in in winter semifinals, right? Yeah. Wes started there. That was Wes's very then, first set. And then just lost. Lost 2-0 yeah. to Lores. Beat Zach 2-0. Then goes up to beat Wes, uh, beat Kaina, 3-0. And then we've got a game five where, uh, yeah, where Wes takes it. And then a game four here. Yeah, and a game four. Yeah. That's Solid insane. play. Wes, uh, the best Tesco of the day. The best. Laura is still technically Tesco. the best shell. Yeah, that's true. No. The only shell. It was genuinely awesome brawl places. Derek deficiency. I agree with you. I had a very good time. I did too. I had a good time having you here, Toast, for the first time since 20, really like 2018 or 2019. It's since something like on, that, yeah. Because like, you've always just been the, the button presser. Um, I, the it's what I like to do now. Yeah? It'll be like another four years before this happens Well, again. I had fun. Chat, I, I saw fun some too. comments that you said you had fun having him here too. Thanks, Chad. I hope you guys all had a good time. This was a lot of fun. Uh, Tesk is awesome. BH Community, either on start.gg slash BH Community or brahala.com slash BH Community. For more tournament action, there's going to be three really big community tournaments this weekend where Tesca and Chell are going to be uh, tournament legal the entire time. And mm -hmm. I definitely want you guys all to check that out over the weekend. It won't be on this stream, but it will be on the various community yes. streams. And that will be happening all throughout this weekend. We also have Winter Championships coming up February 3rd through the 5th. And then the following weekend, that's Singles First, which is different from previous years. $100,000 prize pool. Registration is open right now. Go ahead to brahalla.com forward slash winter. Get yourself signed up. What if I can't make it? Sign up. What if I will go 0-2? Sign up. What if? I don't care. Sign up. It's worth it. It's going to be a good time. We got cool art. We got cool stuff planned for that event. Um, we got cool people coming in to speak smart words on top of it. And you could potentially even be on the stream. You could. Um, some final things to throw out there. Brahalla.com forward slash balance dash preview. Balance hyphen preview if you want to see the balance patch preview um, ahead of time. Uh, Prime Gaming. If you have a, a Prime sub. Brahalla.com slash Prime. First of all, what you should do is use your free Prime sub on Brahalla. Use it right now on our channel, please. And then second of all, go those get your free stuff. Those don't renew on their own. You have to like manually. No, do they, it you have time. to manually renew. Yeah, I know yeah, it. You might, it's you might, killed my. You I might had like a thirty-month uh, streak, and I lost it because I didn't renew it in time. Yeah, it's a bummer. Yeah, I know better now. But uh, go ahead, use your sign prime. Sign prime sub. Your prime your sub, prime and also get some sub. free stuff with that the sounds, Amazon Prime Gaming sounds exotic uh, for a hollow bundle. Which right now I believe it is the Nightblade bundle. We don't have a graphic queued up for that right now. But we, we did. Will we did next say time. balance hyphen preview, but also balance yes. preview just works. So Sparky is correct. Yes. It's spam. It's awesome. It's worth it. Y'all, yeah. thank you so much for tuning in, watching, hanging out. I got nothing else. I got nothing else. Sign us off, Toast. I'm Toast. I'm Taza. That's Taza. This was not pre-recorded. And it was uh, not tune in on Tuesday at one o'clock for the next dev stream. Thanks everyone. Take yeah. care.
plan. What on my hand? She can't deny it. She's on the man. Count up a M. One of the bands. Did it before I could do it again. Silent profiling. I'm stay in the train. Late to the party, but it never ends. I'm making back every dollar I spend. Keeping it real, I can never pretend. Soon as I take off, I'll roll day off. Call me an angel, look up at my halo. I put some heat on the Beyond's halo. Everyone know what I bring to the table. You know that I'm in it for life. The real ones, they stick to my side. I'm about to be ready tonight. Don't mean to be killing the vibe, but I... That you never can block. They can't get mad cause I'm walking the walk. They like in my style, they love how I talk. When I do a song, they wait for the drop. Might get some diamonds to put on my wrist. I took the credit I don't ever miss. I'm problematic, you never could diss. I make a hit that you never could skip. I got to drive, I'm up in the sky. And look at the clouds, you see how I'm flying. Only doing, you know I ain't trying. Keeping the mind, let's catch the vibe. And-